Hola. Just going to wait on uh, Lisa Transcendence Brown to come in. How's it going, everybody? How's it going, everybody? Happy uh, Lionsgate. Happy 8 day. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Aloha. Hey, Lori Hart Hartram. How you doing? Good to see everybody. A lot of powerful energies coming down. Good timing. It's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning in Hawaii. 3 o'clock New York. 4.30 in Adelaide, South Australia. <laughs> Uh, Lisa's coming in. I think last time she ran a couple of minutes late. I'm sure she'll be here in the next couple of minutes, two, three, four minutes, whatever. It's all perfect. It's all divine timing. Yeah, a lot of powerful transformation going on. Lisa's been writing some really good stuff, as a lot of people have over the last couple of weeks, especially. 8 p.m. in England. We got Edmonton in the house. 1 p.m. 9 p.m. in Austria. 7 a.m. Thursday in New Zealand. Yes, it is. Uh, 9, uh, 9 p.m. in Austria. 5 a.m. in Sydney. We got a uh, world participation. We got Illinois, Dallas, Texas. The Netherlands is 9 p.m. 6 p.m. in Brazil, Bom Dia, Argentina, Los Angeles, Ireland's 8 p.m. <laughs> Germany's 9 p.m. Hey, dude. What's, <laughs> what's happening? What's uh, happening? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Sorry, I had to switch computers again. I keep forgetting my Mac. <laughs> it's like, really? It's all good. It's all I, good. I wanted to come outside with you guys today so you can see the mountain. So Right on. We already got 263 people in the house Yay, all over the world. We were just doing a little uh, country and time roll call. But, I mean, it's all over. We got India. It's one, two, three, four in India. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> I know. I got um, I don't know if my team is up, but they were like, we're getting up at three. They get up at three o'clock in the morning to come join sometimes. So sometimes they're oh, here, yeah. sometimes they're not because they're over in Hong Kong. So, oh, yeah. Beautiful piece. Well, they're, they're doing a great job. You've been putting out some good stuff. And I went to your website. I went to uh, your Facebook uh, page. Yeah, they all been doing some good stuff, man. You've been putting some good stuff out. They, they, um, they, they, they're awesome. They're helping me accomplish the ridiculous amount of work we have. <laughs> <laughs> right. There seems to be a, a frequency of collaboration that's starting to take hold, starting to anchor in. Yeah. I love, I love that. Uh, and let me just say thank you for coming on again and uh, honoring us with your presence. Mm -hmm. I just. I'm going to have hair blowing. Yeah. Um, 
I'm really great. excited. I mean, I woke up this morning. I, I appreciate. I, I love the fact that you guys are doing this, and that that we all get to be a part of all of that too, because you know it's really important, as we all know. So a lot of people are starting to understand the importance of it, and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it's taking a while. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we're, is- we're still going. You know, there's there's still a lot. There always will be, but oh well, my you- goodness. Go ahead. Well, you gave you you put out quite a few things in the last ten days, I would say. Well, I mean, that that's that's small for me. I used to. Is that it really? <laughs> I've backed uh, off a lot the last few years. I used to write like five and six and ten and fifteen and twenty and thirty times a day for people. Wow! Wow! And then it, it you know, teaching, re educating according to higher consciousness. It, it it's a constant thing. It's because you have to completely rework your entire consciousness. Right. And so getting people present and sharing the information of what all this was that doesn't make any sense that people don't want to believe. And, and you know, um, the dedication that it takes on our part yeah. Yeah. It, it is immense because we do have to do it all day, every day because, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, in the old days, it was like, you know, at this time, I'll do it or at this time. And it's no, it's like it's a 24 seven. Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah. time clock on the ascension. <laughs> oh, and and it, everything everything's very different, very different. Yeah. But yeah, it um, it, it's so you know, I woke up really early this morning to the intense. At first, it was intense, and it's like it went. It just goes from intense to immense. Um, codes coming through, and um, it, it was cool because I don't usually get up that early unless I have a lot to accomplish. And I'll just say, universe, wake me up you know, crack of dawn, wake me up and, and I wake up, you know, and I get up and start going, but I, I was able to look outside and see Sirius. Oh, wow. And, and, and watch it turning and all the different colors and stuff. Cause you can see these things with your, your human eyes now. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And it's, and then as soon as I connected with Sirius, it was like, boom, here we went. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, speaking of codes, you, you put one out uh, a few days ago that was, was a kind of a general state of the ascension and it was talking about integration uh, or anchoring uh, and then kind of, uh, I forget the words you used, but like an activation, you know, in other words, putting it into motion and it was a good, it was a really good, uh, you know, you talked about, uh, you talked about what was happening in a general way, but it was very positive. Uh, I'm feeling that energy and I know a lot of people are, you know, on these shows and in the audience. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, some people are having a really rough time with their body or their physical reality because they don't understand what everything is. And when we don't understand, we tend to how we perceive things really dictates how we do the journey, which is why it's so important, Um, which is why all of what we all do, what we do, you know, is to assist with grace and ease, assist with accepting this and not only accepting it, but really getting on board, you know, Um, Because the higher we go, the more everybody's got to step up the, you know, so, and, and I don't know anything until I see it. I don't know anything until I experience it. I, I, you know, that that's, it's a part of the purity process is that we, we share what our access, what we see, what we know, what we experience inside and and our access to all these other infinite dimensions and stuff. And, And, you know, the, Usually when I'll see timelines years in advance, I usually won't put it out because of how the human aspect takes it. Yeah. But this time it was appropriate because it's basically to, to one, show people how accelerated everything's about to be. We, we thought it was accelerated before. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what you said was you said the codes have fully, fully integrated or fully come in. And they now, do as we integrate them. They've integrated yeah. into Gaia. They, they, so, so those of us who are gatekeepers and grid keepers, I'll just explain a little bit. Yeah. We connect with our bodies up to Gaia and the universe and cosmically and the different planets and all those things because it's all inside of our body. So we're right. able to, to basically from inside of our body, our consciousness expands into all these places and spaces. We're able to occupy all this place and space and see all the information simultaneously while functioning in this physical reality right here, which takes a lot um, through the years. But um, it's integrated when we stop and we integrate. It's integrated when it becomes our priority to integrate. It's integrated in Gaia, 
But now what happens is each person has to integrate those codes. They're available. Yeah. And they've been, I call them, they've been delivered, but basically yeah. they've been activated inside of our body because of the frequencies we're in. And, and, and how this works is basically the higher the cosmic frequencies we hit, the more capabilities everybody has. Yeah. The higher the cosmic frequencies we, we have become available, which are constant now. I mean, gateways open like every two to three days. That's yeah. unheard yeah. of. And yeah. it's gateway after gateway after gateway. And I started calling them heart gates, heart gateways recently. So people could understand because we're watching everybody's hearts just like blow wide open finally. Yeah. Um, and for me, it's kind of cool because, you know, we went through all this in the beginning, if you will, of, uh, of our journey when we woke up. And now we're going through it again with the collective. So it's like falling in love with Gaia all over again and falling in love with everything all over again. So it's quite exciting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what I meant. You said all the codes have been delivered. So it, and all, that all is incumbent upon us. us yes. Right. But it's, now it's each yeah. person's responsibility. Yeah. Um, and each person integrates them when it becomes their priority. Yeah. Each person yeah. integrates them when their body or their physical. Um, okay. So on a soul level, everybody's got to wake up. Yeah. Okay. And so, but to, in, to integrate the immensity of this codes until we actually acknowledge that we're ready to integrate, they just float around in our field and our body goes haywire. Yeah. And so we actually have to, we don't have to choose because if we don't choose, then, then, then that's our ego saying, I don't want this. And then something goes sideways to force us to, you know, so yes. it's, you know, all this is better ego aspect. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're all available. Now it's how each person lives their life now, yeah. you know, and it has been this way for years, the, the dimensions available, um, as each person embodies those codes of those aspects and becomes that as you become that aspect and you merge them all inside. Um, so once we go through physical body ascension and, and enter multidimensionality on a whole new way, then we start over soul embodiment, which takes years because you're, you're merging every aspect of the oversoul inside of your body too. Um, it's an immense process. Wow. It, and, and it takes a lot of dedication and commitment on our part because um, all of us have roles to fulfill here. All of us have um, humanitarian roles yeah. that, that we yeah. are to fulfill. And they don't look like anything like we thought they were going to. <laughs> Nothing does. <laughs> and, there's, there's, and there seems to be some type of more visible relationship between, you know, removing shadows or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't removing the, anymore. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, you well, told me that last time. I didn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when you were, I guess, a veil, like removing veils that you have within yourself. And there seems to be some type of relationship that's becoming more visible that has to do oh, with yeah. creativ creativity, okay. you know. So, so creative. Yes, it's all about creativity because each person is going to recreate their entire reality from scratch. You, we, right. we, you birth your realities from within your body through the light codes oh. that you integrate, your body will actually start giving birth to light codes. Your belly will blow up with photonic light and you'll wake up with new information. Um, our body blows up, it'll, it'll expand, it'll contract. It'll, and, and how, depending on which part of the process we're in is how the body does, because each part of the process has a different way that consciousness correlates to the physical body. No wonder um, my stomach's been sticking out. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll get huge. You'll go from zero to ten <laughs> pregnant and like be like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm like, you're you know, it's <laughs> this, you're, you're, you're going to birth your new realities with your body. Your pelvis will expand. I mean, your body will prepare itself for birth. Literally, you'll have contractions. You'll be breathing <laughs> like, like an idiot. It's going to be like, it, it gets intense. You know, uh, when I tell people this, they're like, oh, no. And then, you know, the girl that, that, that she flies over and we do a lot of work together and um, she's awesome. I told her this. And then, you know, this last time she was here, finally, after a year and a half, she's got this big old belly walking around with a hand <laughs> on top of it. And it hurt. I mean, you're literally giving birth along with Gaia. You're, you're literally birthing your new realities through the light codes that you're integrating. And when you get up, you have, new information, new knowledge, new, it's the new, new earth. 
You birth yeah. new earth from inside of you through the realities that you create. It's pure source light. Yeah. And so notice the words we use, source creator. It's creator source energy. Creator. Okay. Yeah. But you are the source of all creation from inside of you. And as you start to, as when I say you, Todd, I mean all of us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's yeah. just words. I know, but human aspects, I call them human aspects because that's what represents the ego for me. That, that's how I, once you expand into the galaxies and you look down on this earth and you watch everybody run around, it's just a bunch of little unconscious humans. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, wow, you know, they can't share, they can't get along, they can't be kind to each other. And, and so it is a bunch of humans running around that don't have a clue. And, and, and then our job, if you will, is to bring each person. We actually magnetize and pull people into consciousness. We pull entire realities into consciousness. It's huge. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I can uh, see that. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah, we did. Go ahead. We did. A, we did. A, well, I was going to say we did a show earlier today with Katie Indicro, and it was kind of a, a group, um, you know, process, a group ritual. I don't know what you'd want to call it, but you could I, you could see the the yep. energy, uh, yep. the portal, the vortex, whatever of but, the yeah. crowd. And at yep. the point where we disengaged, something went, you know, there was like an energy burst and half the yeah. people fell out of, there's like 150 people in the room and about half of them fell out of the room <laughs> yeah, and came, came in. Yeah. So it was a, it was a validation. It was really cool. Yeah. It was really interesting. You'll be it's surprised. You, we actually are the portals. We're the cosmic portals. Yeah. We, we actually yeah. can bring people through, you know, so like anytime we bring somebody into our field of consciousness, they get to experience our reality. You know, yeah. the vibrancy, the colors, the skies, the skies over my house are different than the skies everywhere else. It's my weather. It's my sky. It's my plasma field. You know, yeah. so um, we are, we're the gatekeepers, the grid keepers. We're the anchor points all located all over the planet. Um, and, and as each person embodies all of their higher self aspects, not just the one that we become aware of when we're yeah. physically ascending. When we're yeah. physically ascending, it's merging with your higher self. But then yes. once you merge with your higher self and then, you know, there's a whole process that comes into play as then you have to start. This is where you start um, recognizing all the programming. This is when yeah. you start recognizing and you start getting your realities aligned and you start aligning things yourself and you bring everything into. And this is where you start. You, you we all humanity um, yeah. to, to actually see multidimensionality but in in a very different way um it's it's through being able to see how things materialize how physical matter takes form how you, you can act, actually participate you know in opening a portal and walking through it and coming out in an, another reality but it takes time based upon your physical body density you got to clear the program mm -hmm. within your body mm -hmm. and so every time we go through a massive activation of light then we have to integrate my whole life ever since I started doing this has been built around integrating first. And then I, and, and we learn how to function all over again. And, and so integration comes first and then I get up and do all my realities and I accomplish and all that kind of stuff because they're easier. Yeah. But in the beginning for me, it wasn't that easy. It was really, it was beyond intent. Um, because of how strong my ego was and how much had to be broken down inside of me because we have an inner matrix that yeah, has to completely exactly. break down and be rebuilt. And, it, and it's according to the crystalline matrix and the energetic matrix and, and all these different matrices, the plasma, it, it's a bit different, but we have all these different matrix systems and, and they link up to our Merkaba when we're going through physical body ascension. Um, and, and then that will break down and, and recode itself and then turn into our Stargate system. And that's where you get to move into the cosmos and all kinds of other stuff. It's a progressional thing, if you will. It's part of our, our um, evolution of our DNA, higher consciousness DNA. And, and that frequencies. It, Go ahead, sorry. And, and that, no, no, you're good. That integration, I didn't want to get past it. That integration oh, yeah, you're talking about. That, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. What does that look like? I mean, you know, because there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people waking up right now. I mean, really, right. you can see that mass collective. Yes, yeah. Me. And you wait. You awaken to confusion. You awaken to all of your lack of integrity. You awaken to a lot of things um, at first. Um, and and 
one is starting to realize that the physical world out there doesn't match up to what you thought reality yes. was supposed to be and, and and you're no longer happy no matter what you were seeking um it no longer fulfills you and, and it's a part of the process of our heart start and to open and um what will start to happen i'm gonna i'm gonna go through some of the processes if that helps okay so yeah. what, okay because it does because we have different stages a, along yeah. the way um what will start to happen is we'll start to feel everything and it'll become too much um, for a lot of us who start looking for what's wrong with us, which nothing's wrong with us, we're moving from a linear live from our head reality to a vibrational where we feel everything. Well, in, in the beginning, we feel too much. We feel everything. We feel every every person around us. We feel, and, and that's because the body is holding so much that's out of tune. Mm. And the body has to clear all those programs, which is immense. It's immense fear. It's immense, you know, lack of power. Um, it, it, it's, you know, for a while we're affected by everything. And when I was going through this, you know, we'll move to the words if I'm an empath or a sensitive, but we eventually yeah. have to let go of those words. I read a yeah. thing the other day about being a sensitive. We're not sensitive. It's your senses are becoming enhanced so you can feel. It's your senses are becoming enhanced so that you can actually communicate and exist as an electromagnetic field. And, and the, the frequencies, the vibrations are so high on the earth now. If everything isn't completely in tune, then it's going to show up within our body and within our physical reality. And the physical body can only take so much. And then it says, I've had enough. And then it starts what appears to be going haywire. Anytime the body's not doing what we think it's supposed to be doing, because we have a human perception of what the human body, how it's supposed to work. But when it comes to multidimensionality, it doesn't work that way anymore because every cell has to break down a linear cellular structure and move to a quantum one, which is sacred geometry. All right. Every cell of our body, when, when your body's going quantum, you have to be laying down. You have to be asleep. You have to be resting. There's a lot of rest necessary for your body to go from linear to quantum. And, right. and, and it's years and years and years. It's not an overnight process, which is why it's so important, because if we don't listen, if we don't want to hear any of this, if we keep trying to control the body, if we keep trying to override the body, there comes a part of the process where we can override the human body when our light body kicks in. And that's a very different part of the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, But for the human body, it wasn't built for multidimensionality. So it's got to completely break everything down on a cellular level and reconstruct it completely because your organs work differently. Everything, everything is different. For the multidimensional body and, yeah. and so our bodies weren't qu equipped if you will going from a two strand to a 10 12 yeah. strand, and then way beyond there when you get into to much higher consciousness and and the different galaxies and, and all that kind of stuff um our physical bodies are constantly rewriting our dna rewriting our genetics and, and so you know i will tell people what do you think is going to happen to your body when it starts rewriting its dna it's not going to work the way you think it's going to because your body is intelligent. It knows what it needs. Mm -hmm. We are to listen to the body, honor the body. And one of the things our body needs is nature, a lot of nurturing, a lot of self-care, a lot of alone time, a lot of because when you are alone, I call it uh, me, we be time. Mm -hmm. Because when, when you have me time, then, then you learn how to be. And as you learn yeah. how to, you become we, you merge yeah. on, on a soul yeah. level. Makes sense. And, yeah. and um, in order for us to function from our very highest and most expanded place in space, in the beginning, we have to be alone so we can go that deep inside to connect because our soul is deep, 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 deep inside of us beneath everything else. Yeah. Beneath the fear, beneath the, 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 the tears, beneath the anger, beneath it all. And that's what all of this is about it is all of these vibrational frequencies are taking everybody deeper inside, deeper yeah. inside, connect on a deeper level. The integration process requires a ridiculous amount of sleep, sleep. And when our light body first kicks in, we don't need a lot of sleep. So it'll flip flop when we hit the crystalline phase full on then it's sleeping again but light body phase is for us to get our reality set up 
Mm. Each person, when their light body kicks in, they have plenty of energy. They can go all day long. Um, I used to call it my energizer bunny on crack. It's when we hit the gamma. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like bang on, boom, 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 and, up, and I didn't need any sleep. And I was like energized and because you're operating on a gamma light body at that point, mm -hmm. gamma frequencies. And it's like being plugged into an electric electrical sock. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be yeah. laying in bed. You will. If you haven't felt this, Todd, you will feel it because I it's okay. But it will, well, it will become. Go ahead. Yeah. What, what you're describing. No, because I think, I think there's a lot of people at this level right now uh yes, what you were describing are. i'm not saying straight crystalline but what what you were describing is it would go up and down like there's times i'm exactly like what you're talking about yeah. especially very recently That's which I've had a lot of other people are getting them and but then other times i like i think it was yesterday i went and had lunch and i woke up and it's i, I took a nap woke up at 7 30 i was gonna lay down for 30 minutes and i was okay. like what's going on That's so you know? cool. Okay, so, so we have all these different vibrational frequencies that are constantly activating and our body um, reacts differently. So does our physical reality. So gamma. Okay, so most people don't know. And I didn't know these things until I got here and I experienced it and the information became available. Okay. okay. New Earth operates at a gamma frequency. Well, the only way for the human to achieve a gamma frequency is to work with balancing out the brainwave state, work with different frequencies and tones, get their body's vibration up and sleep because your brain your whole body has to change the body i call it a body wave it's a brain wave mm -hmm. state that the whole body has to achieve to walk in gamma frequencies that's what the light body is it's gamma frequencies mm -hmm. running through your body and stimulating everything it's what stimulates the sexual organs so that that sexual sexual energy goes from being a human lack or need mm -hmm. to your Okay, so I'm going to explain this my way to, to make a point because this That's is how good. we do it. We have to simplify. Let's do it. That mm -hmm. sexual energy, it's like immaculate conception. It, it, it actually, um, how do I say that? The sexual energy is what seeds the new reality mm -hmm. inside of your body so that your, mm -hmm. then, then your sacral will actually give birth that to that new reality, your sexual energy then becomes your creation energy. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's feeding. I don't know how else to say this. Okay. Yeah. 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 It, it's impregnating your body. Yeah. It's with, like the force. Yeah. It, it's the force. And eventually once you've gone through a, a lot of this, you will actually go through cosmic orgasms where your body will be laying here and, and it's extremely pleasurable, but it, it's mm -hmm. what it does is it goes through our body. It will actually stimulate all the nerve endings in the body, which is where everybody's pain starts coming from because the body's got to clear all of that emotional pain, but it, they're not, it's not of this existence. It's all your existences. Yeah. So a lot of people get stuck on who did what to who or when in their life caused that. That's only a marker point yeah. for a reality that we created to reinforce our separation within ourselves. Yeah, okay. that's right. Okay. It's the experience that we agreed to on a soul level to have to turn around and love ourselves back into wholeness and, and to love ourselves so much. And, and all of that represented our separation. Our separation yeah. is from ourselves as pure source light, as source, as creator. You know, you, you get into the divine creator and all this stuff. The only thing is uh, humans will use the words and, and they'll wear them out. Yeah. When, when in essence, when you say the word the divine creator, it's an essence or a presence that comes through you. It's extremely sacred. Yes. It, it's not a ego walking around God, goddess, creator, you know, patting each other on the back and, and all this kind of stuff. It, it's a very sacred experience within ourselves that we have. It's a union on a soul level. Yeah. that goes on inside of us and and so we don't taint it with human words does that make sense oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're right so yeah, you're right but the body when it starts being activated to gamma and, and you know i can look through i can look at my entire human experience and see how my whole life i was waking up but i didn't know that because i didn't actually start to wake up um until 2008 yeah 2009 2010 
you, you know, when you start going through the heavy duty stuff. Um, and, you know, it was intense. It was rough. My whole body shut down. You know, I'd spent a whole life completely asleep other than knowing I wasn't supposed to be on this planet, if you will. Because when mm -hmm. you're starving, you don't even want to be here, mm -hmm. you know. So we have to go through all of that stuff, too. Um, but when gamma activates in the body, we think we're having a heart attack. We think we're having a stroke. It's, it's intense. The, the, the first couple times and then a lot of times it'll happen in our sleep state. It'll ease people into it. They'll, they'll have this dream that, that will stimulate the entire body and it, and it can go on for a half hour or an hour. So it's not a just like a boom, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the first time it happened to me, it scared me to death, but I also knew everything was okay. It's exciting and scary all at the same time. <laughs> you know, so um but Polarities. you have enough consciousness within yourself to know that everything's okay does that make yeah. sense yeah and so your little human can run around and your little ego can run around when i say human i mean ego um and 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 run through the fears but in yeah. essence um it's actually that's why a lot of people go into some sexual stuff is it actually stimulates the sexual stuff and if we have any distortions we play them out in our physical reality yeah yeah. And so I spent my whole life playing out sexual distortions because that's, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I spent my whole life playing out distortions. So when it yeah. was time to wake up, you know, I had intensity for a year, year and a half. I mean, beyond intensity, you know. Um, and, and then once you wake up one day and it's just all gone. Yeah. Like you've yeah. been birthed anew. You, you look younger. We age because we're age. Okay. How do I say this? <laughs> when, when we age fast right before our bodies die and go through all the ego death. And so yeah, we actually yeah. start looking older. So I gained like, I, I looked young. Then, yeah. then, then I gained like 10 years overnight and I looked really old, really mm. rough. And mm. then I went through hell because photonic light will actually give you the baggy eyes and blow up under your skin and, and, and your whole body, your whole lymphatic system, all your organs get reworked. Everything gets done. There's crystals in the body that activate. <laughs> And they start a purification process of the physical body. So everything we've ever put into our bodies, everything we've ever breathed, mm. everything we've ever ingested has to be detoxed from our body. Every toxic emotion has to be detoxed from our body. And so when I, I had to start detoxing and I stayed in, in a, like a rigorous detox for a year and a half. What did you do for the detox? I do uh, Clean Smart. It's my favorite because I can take two in the morning and two at night and keep my body maintained. Uh, it's a balanced thing for me. I didn't do like the three days really. It was too shocking and too harsh on my system. And so I still, I've been in detox since 2010. Every day. I detox every day. You have to keep your body completely clean. Light body starts the process mm -hmm. of detoxing. Um, for physical body ascension to occur. First, we have to ascend our consciousness and hold it there long enough, and then it's time for the body to come through. Well, the body didn't hold the vibration. So once I went right. through ascending my consciousness, being a gatekeeper for, for 2012, going through 2011, I had to be fully awake by 2011. So mm -hmm. it was intense um, to be a gatekeeper. And the thing about it is I didn't know any of this stuff. I fell backwards through it without a clue. Right. Um, once we came through that gateway, the physical body ascension became an actual ability that we achieved. And, okay. and so then it was time to bring my body through. In my universe, I'll call it my universe because you become the universe. You don't have a universe anymore. You become the team. You don't have a team anymore. You become pure source. There, there is no outside source. There, there's, it's us. You know, right, you right. become all of these things and there's no separation anymore. Um, or was I? I got lost. <laughs> no, no, you were talking about you were talking about the cleansing, so the, the toxic uh, detox, but the toxins, it, all the that, emotions. I mean, because yeah. my body's my well, when you sit ingest and anything you've ever you know drank or whatever, every, every exchange you've ever had, <laughs> this is so, vibrational. Yep. And see, my body, you know, over the last well, it's been getting progressively louder, but I've noticed it's been really loud the last couple of weeks. It's like, hey, man, you don't need to do that. Are you? 
don't need to eat that or, you know, the things like that. And I'm going, am I, am I hearing this? And I shouldn't be asking myself after it's all this guy. time. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice talking to you, but our ego doesn't mm. like it. It's like I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> no, but it's ma it's making me pay for it. That's the thing. I can't it's handle going it. To. It you is. It's like it. I'm thinking, am I am I shedding stuff? Am I you know removing layers or or what? Or yeah, I, am I? You are. You're gonna. Drop, <laughs> it's called dropping density. You're gonna drop a ridiculous amount of density that was in your cellular body. And you know, like this morning when we got whammied, first thing yeah. is to the bathroom and my body's dumping, 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 dumping. I'm like, yeah. and I'm excited. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, because as long as, long as we're getting, <laughs> I, I totally relate to that the last week. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> well, it's Syrian, Syrian and yeah. Lyran. It's a Syrian and Lyran detox that kicks in in June. And it runs all the way, all the way through the the Lyran, the the Lion's Gate gateway, which is today. Happy Lion's Gate, yeah, everybody! Yeah. Look, we're on six six six. That's like one of my favorite numbers because of what it means. <laughs> there you go. Everybody else right has on. issues with numbers, and we love them because they all have ma amazing messages and stuff. When I came in here, my emails were at ten thousand eight eight eight. So eight 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 for right the Lion's on. Gate. Um, <laughs> right on. Are the, do yeah. I have too much background noise? I wore a headset. No, no, you're is good. It, you're is good. it okay? I've got cows yeah. and horses and lawnmowers, but I wanted to come outside with you guys. No, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, detoxing. Let me tell you about this. So, so we ascend our consciousness and we become aware of what an ascended consciousness is. It's, it's holding a higher state of consciousness with our physical body, but then our physical body says it's got to come through. Well, when I went through this first, then, okay, so when I, I have to go way back, so bear with me here. Yeah, yeah. When I, when I went through this, um, it was okay. Now get your body. At first, when I ascended my consciousness and, and maintained and held this state of consciousness for a few, couple years, right. okay, I was going through all these different cleansing processes and getting my body clean and all that kind of stuff. Um, once I got my body clean, my light body kicked in. So I kind of did a lot of things backwards. So other people do it the other way. And so there's different ways. To oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. So mine was mine was opposite because I, I, I had run my body in the ground. My whole body shut down. I was an organ failure, congestive heart failure. I had every condition known to man. And all that is, is the body dying because it can't integrate light. Mm. Okay, now, the thing about it is, so I'm going to flip flop all over the place because that's called quantum too. Right on. Our body needs our light in order to live. Mm. And as humans, we don't understand that your light is your soul. Photonic light as a star being, as a soul, we have we, we have to do more than one part of this journey. And one is on a soul level, which is where it takes you deeper inside, deeper inside. But a lot of people went the galactic route first. OK, if you went the galactic route first, then once you get to a certain point, it's time to go deeper inside for me. I, I was a walk-in mm -hmm. and, and so I went the soul route first and then I came around to the galactic stuff mm. to, to, to kind of like come full circle, if that makes any sense. So yeah. I went deep inside first and then I went galactic um, in order to, to complete my different processes and all. Um, but there's an immense, immense, detox process that occurs to get your body's vibration up once i came through ascending my consciousness and holding the state of consciousness um yeah, the divine yeah. feminine if you will yes yeah, yeah. then i had about a month of no higher self guides you feel like you're abandoned there's nobody to talk to nobody's answering you anymore and and it's like the words were there's nobody to ask you have to do this you know this you have yeah, to do it yeah, now yeah. you know so now then it's getting up and doing it, but then the divine masculine kicks in and that's your doing. Love is who we are. It's our purest form, but it's not human love. It's a very pure love. That's our being energy. Okay. Then our light, that gamma frequency, that's our doing energy. That's where we get up and we accomplish and we do. And the light body kicks in so we can accomplish and do and get ourselves out in the world and share our light with the world. So the light is our doing energy, if you will. Now, I'm breaking it down just to make a point. No, no, I like it. Okay, so love is being and light is doing. But not really, because technically they're same. 
but we break right. them down to understand that when you're filled with pure source light, you can be and do simultaneously all at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so learning how to be first, you come through the divine feminine, divine masculine activates through the divine feminine. So you can't yeah, activate yeah. the divine masculine until you've gone through the divine feminine because it, it, you have to go through the purity first. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I learned that about, uh, I think it was on the eclipse. <laughs> so oh, I my, yeah. Yeah, I was on my knees in the hotel room crying. Like when yeah, I was homeless. A, yeah. it, was, it was, and I just finally just said, I surrender. I surrender, take okay. everything. <laughs> that's, that's, okay, so that has to occur. That's ego death. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the ego death for, for physical body ascension to start. And, and we do get dropped to our knees. I was dropped to my knees many, many times. It's what breaks our ego down. Yeah. It's also located in the body and in the spine. Yeah. And so everything activates from our spine. Our Kundalini, we have all these different things. Crystalline starts in the base of the spine, but it's also in every organ. It's in the feet. Um, it's under the skin. That's why everybody breaks out you know, star particle activations. We have all these things that, that go on. Um, yeah, we get dropped to our knees because it's basically what breaks our ego down. Um, yeah. Those, the, the more, each energy has a different trait, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so eventually they all merge. You don't have a separation between the divine feminine and masculine, but they become one while you birth your divine child, which is your innocence which is your beauty, which is the magnificence, which is the magic, which, which brings you into alchemy. Yeah. Because you're creator, creator, creating, you're transforming, you're, you're, you're able to transform anything to light. Then, then we reach a point once we've created, created, created from a pure place, completely pure, no ego. Um, that, uh, what was the word? Oh, everything you touch turns to gold. You'll hit this place where it's like everything you touch turns to gold. And then it's just like everything flourishes. Yeah, everything yeah. is abundant. Everything. And it becomes really easy. But you are working. Um, yeah. You know, I have a lot of people ask me, you know, what am I going to do about a job and all this kind of stuff? You're going to work in service just like the rest of us do, which is why it's so important for people to start to respect this and, and respect each other and yeah. and move beyond the judgment because each person is going to be in this place too. Yeah, and, and when they are, they'll understand it. So that's why we, we re-educate everybody so they don't have to go through the, the harsh and the rough and the intense like all of us did. That's why we share the information and the knowledge, but we make it available and we don't really care. We put it out there. We let yeah. everybody go figure it out for themselves. There's no yeah. more handholding. There's no more cuddling. There's no more doing it for anybody. Um, it's been interesting lately um, because <laughs> uh, people are having to start to think for themselves. And, you know, I get, we're inundated with emails from people saying, will you do this for me and do that? No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> do it for yourself. <laughs> you know, I even, <laughs> like I even changed the name from tech support to tech guidance because I'm going to point them inside. Go figure it out yourself because there's so much. I can't click on this. Can you send me the link for that? No. Everything's available. Go figure yeah, it out. Because yeah, that's yeah. part of coming into full consciousness. You have to learn yeah, to figure yeah. things out for yourself. And but right now with collective awakening, it's ridiculous how much I can't do this is coming out of people. <laughs> my, uh, I mean, I've been, mind that, blowing. <laughs> I've been having that conversation with my, uh, my higher aspects. And uh, I've already conceded uh -huh. and surrenders on that one too. So I'm not, I'm not sweating it anymore. I'm just, you know, I'm doing what I can do uh, at we my pace. We have to let a lot of stuff yeah. go. Yeah. Um, we pace ourselves. We don't have any, you know, the time, time constraints change. You remove the time constraints and you do it. Um, you know, we don't have, if you'll notice, Todd, we don't have, well, I'm going to take this day off, take that day. You, you work every day. Yeah. yeah. You, you take, you work at a slower pace. You take, you work very fast at a slower pace. Do you notice that? Yes. You yes. accomplish more, but do you notice how you need to have, have people gone? Get out of my yes. way. So I, can <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do very much. You, so. you can't accomplish with people around because that actually brings a separation of time back in and, and it interferes yeah. with your zero point field unless everybody's in creation and accomplish mode. Yeah, I find it more and more difficult and almost unbearable. And I'm and I'm trying to stay in my field. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like going, is this me? Is this me? Or, or you know, and, and then I'm going, no, no, it's not. So Your it's becoming a, 
clear. You can't have the distortions transmitting through the field and getting in the way. So you have to be able to expand your consciousness out and function from this space. Yes. yes. And so you have to have a clear field and, and in order to keep your physical body's vibration high. So let me go back to the physical body for a moment with you. Once I went through um, basically starting the physical body ascension process, that can get quite intense. Um, because all the judgment, all the programs were anchored in our body. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I had three days that I couldn't sit down. I, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. I was in so much pain as it, as it cleared my spine. Wow. It was, in, and I was hanging, I, I had my arms up and I was hanging from doorways, just trying to pull my spine out because it was all stuck in my spine because that's where all the programs were. Yes. And you know, by the third day, I'm like, oh, please knock me out. Please just, just, and I heard the frequency shift and the gateways open and I heard the waves come in. I'm like, oh, thank God. And I passed right out. And within a yeah. few hours, I was up and feeling awesome. Yeah. But, but it took three days for my body to clear that heavy duty programming for physical body ascension to occur. Now, the reason I say this, it took me almost a solid year for the actual physical body ascension part. And, and at that time, my universe was telling my human, because this is important for people to understand which aspect are you being right now? Are you your universe? Or are you being your human? Yeah, yeah. And so my universe, anytime you're taking instructions, it's your human that's taking instructions, which is why we have to fully surrender. Because because be, we become our higher selves, which, which is a universal being. And then we have the soul, the higher selves. We have all these different aspects. Um, my universe was like, pour all your crystals in your bed, grid your bed. And I, and, and I literally slept with 200 crystals every, I thought I was gonna vibrate off this planet. <laughs> It got so intense because my body's vibration wasn't high enough. People have no clue because fifth dimension, you don't have any sickness. There's no, you don't have illness. You don't have, you don't have any of these things. Your body just constantly recalibrates and recodes and anchors light. You become a gatekeeper and a grid keeper. You're an anchor point and you're constantly anchoring light with your body and transmitting it out. You become the being, you become the thing, you become the cosmic portal, you become all these things. Yeah. Um, but it's constant integration, constant integration. Um, and I will say this, if we don't integrate the light of our soul, our body dies. Yeah. yeah. That's how physical body death occurs. And so integrating our soul and bringing our body into a higher dimensional realm New Earth is heaven on Earth, which is where souls walk around in bodies now. Mm, great explanation. Okay, I'm trying to simplify this here because it gets a, a little great, bit big. Great, for great the explanation. Yeah, yeah. We are souls in I'm a body. Yeah, yeah. But our little human ego doesn't come into play. We see it, but we don't give it any power. We don't, we, we just, it's like, oh, programming, clear programming. And you just walk around and, and you create and you accomplish and you come together, but the ego yeah. never comes in. And if it does, you deal with it. But there's yeah. a lot of alone time for this, for your yeah. body to maintain its highest state of consciousness. The more you surround yourself with affects your actual vibration and your abilities to support yourself. This is yes. where it gets really important those that you surround yourself with eventually they become your investment you're invested in the relationship you're invested in the realities you're invested in everybody is a partner mm. we transcend i'm doing a course right now on transcending the entire twin matrix because it's a matrix program too mm -hmm. and we didn't even know this but when we opened up the cosmic akash we get to see everything and, and so transcending all these different matrix programs, twins are here to, to, you know, and I went through it. I went through the twin experience. Okay. But, but it's to help each other clear the dualistic programming and a twin will, will, we will allow our heart to open for that person. Right. To, to get to the rest of that programming. Cause they can actually help right. us go deeper inside. And then 
you clear the twin karma, which closes out the entire timeline altogether. And everybody moves into a divine union partnership, but you're a divine union within yourself. Yes. And it's a very different, everybody's a partner here. And it doesn't matter what body, whether you're male or female, everybody, we, we get past the male or female or what the body looks like or yeah. who's in what body, because that's a human thing. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's capable. The, the, the thing about it is, is you're not capable if your heart is closed. Right. You're only capable if your heart is open and you're willing to open up and share. You're willing to come together. You have to be willing and you have to actually care. Yeah. And show new earth, if you will. And show them, you see how I'm going back all over the place. No, I like it. I follow it. I follow the quantum. <laughs> Much easier for me on that. Well, uh, it's geometric. So, so when we see everything, we see it all in my whole, everything I see in geometric. So I'm explaining each piece and part. It's the, what they call the puzzle. Yeah. Okay. And so we bring all the pieces and parts together to create a picture so others can see. And so new earth, fifth dimension is the beginning. That's where we rebirth ourselves into and through. We, we awaken to, it's very surreal. It's very light. It's very happy. Mm -hmm. There's joy. We're little children. We're playing. We're excited. We're free from all the old stuff because we, we finally let go. And so, but that begins a whole new process within itself because now we have to grow up all over again and learn everything all over again. And so we birth ourselves as children, but as higher selves. Yeah. And so we, that's where a lot of people will clear out. Once we rebirth, then, then you don't have the wounded ego. You don't have the child, ego child. Uh, the I can't share, kicking and screaming, pitching a fit, the resistance, teenager. And you don't have all of these things playing out within you anymore. You don't yeah. lack love anymore because physical ascension is, you know, like humans will use the word healing. We stop using a lot of these words because they lend to a mentality. And we're not healing. Yeah. We're becoming whole on a soul level. When you become whole on a soul level, your body will heal itself. Yeah. A and so recalling all those fragmented aspects recalling everywhere that you have separated off into that reality into that relationship into that job into that thing reclaiming yourself and your power and taking your power back once we go through an ascension of consciousness then it's time for the body to come through and that's where new earth starts to become available but there's also a lot of sleeping for a lot of people because the the deeper asleep we are the more we have to sleep Oh, masculine energy has to shut down and sleep. It doesn't meditate. <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. I did. I was very strong masculine energy. Um, I mean, I had my feminine, but but I was the survivor and the wounded all at the same time. You know. Okay. And so oh, we just went plasma. You want to see? All right. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Those are some great videos and pictures you put up yesterday. Oh, I've been, I, I actually got to go out. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to take the computer over there. Can you see it? All the lines going in the clouds and are becoming really soft. Are you mm. able to see? No, no, can't see okay, it. Okay, hang on. I mean, it looks beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Oh, it is. Okay, so the clouds, when we're going, so we have crystalline, we have, you know, the, the whole sky and everything will change. But... Um, we have strong crystalline and we've got plasma going. And so all the lines around the clouds will go. And, oh, and yeah. so when the lines go from around the clouds, they'll get really soft. It'll turn into pure electromagnetics, which is what's going on. You can, have, you can watch the energy floating through the air and it's kind of cool. Um, oh. Okay. That is cool. Um, is. And, okay. I, and I, I've been finding too, and I don't know if it's me, but I, I, I just feel like I'm like, everybody else in in the best of ways I'm, I'm just in the transition but there's and i know i've surrendered and i know i've done a lot of work and all you're that you're going to surrender but, constantly by the way yeah well i'm learning that <laughs> <laughs> i say it all day long now you can ask more <laughs> I surrender, I surrender every no moment is surrendering but, you're surrendering your ego yeah. to your higher self that's all you're yeah. surrendering yeah. go ahead sweetie sorry well it's a lot easier now 
<laughs> after the last few days anyway but uh no That's what i'm good. finding that is one biggie one yeah that was that was a big one <clears throat> i asked him to, one, i did ask him to take me just to get me out of here <laughs> You know, well, but, uh, and that's, that's when the ego breaks. It, it's a complete yeah. breakdown of the ego, and yeah. and it's 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 a part of the inner matrix collapsing for each person, yeah. which is what's going on. All yeah. the urgency and all the people trying to hurry—that's their own ego. They don't understand. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is, the ego will hold out to the last minute and have to actually yeah. be broken. And yeah. so, which is why we do what we do is because you don't have to be broken, but you you have to be willing to break down. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be willing to be honest with yourself. Yeah, it's completely. It's, it was powerful. It was, the, it was most. Oh my God! But I was going to say, since then, yeah, a little bit more every day. Yeah. Like even thinking about my night last night when I went for a walk, and which has led to this place. Had a conversation with a friend, different things. Uh, there's less resistance. There's like externally, it's like things are just like appearing in front of me, or you know. Yeah, it's not like perfect and fluid all the time, but I, I'm seeing it and I'm recognizing. It. I'm like, going, oh, wait a minute, and I'm hearing it and I'm feeling it more and more and more. You're I guess to. it's yeah. I'm embodying it. You know, I don't okay. know. I don't know what well, you would call it. Integrating it or something. You're integrating. It. Embodiment is when you're able to be that presence and that essence fully and never compromise ever again. The ego oh, never good. comes into play. Embodiment is is a very pure place. Yeah. There's no ego tainting. There's no distortions. It's very, everything is very simple for us. Your outside world, as you hold more light, as you, we, I'm just explaining the process here. Mm -hmm. The outside world gets easier. Our yeah. inside world is where everything happens. This is where you have to go inside to access the other dimensions. The deeper you go, the further you can expand. Mm. And so you go deeper and deeper and deeper. And you'll notice that, that for a while, we have to learn how to walk around in public again and stay deep inside. Because, because a lot of people, they'll separate off when they go back out, they'll, they'll go yeah. unconscious again. And so it takes a while. You know, a lot of us who do this, we pulled away for a couple of years. Yeah. Good point. You know, we, we pulled, my universe said, shut the whole world out. You're going inside. And I went yeah. inside and I suffered through. You, you're basically going through. Okay, so the third dimension is health. Now, I'm going to go metaphorically, but I'm also going to go real. Right, third right. dimension is hell in the physical. When you haven't yeah. cleared hell from inside of you, it appears in your outside world. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fourth dimension is purgatory, bardo. It's where we stay as we work through our own duality inside. So what will happen is it's also the state where we'll have one foot in each world. And, and then what will happen is we'll get to a certain point that we, 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 we go inside as we're going through our own health, going through our own separation, going through our own stuff inside. We're transcending that dimension inside of us so we can access the fifth dimension and bring it forth. Well, the fifth dimension starts for a lot of people in their dream state. You dream your realities into your physical. Well, m m humans, hold on, I'll find my words here. Ego, masculine. Um, there's a feminine masculine and, and a, there's a feminine ego and, and a masculine ego. And then you have a feminine and a masculine higher self aspect, if you will, but then those become one. Right. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, when we are working through those lower dimensions inside of us, they will play out in our exterior reality to get our attention, to push us inside. Yeah. Once we go inside and clear all that up, it doesn't appear outside anymore. Yeah. Okay. So, so we have to learn to dream. The, the more linear we were, the less we dream. It's not tangible. You can't touch it, you know, and, and in the beginning we'll go, oh, but that's not reality. Come back to reality. And, and we don't understand. Yes, that is reality. It's just not a reality that's physically occurred here. So, so the higher our physical body's vibration, the more we can stay expanded, the more we can bring our physical body into a higher dimensional realm. It drops right. the density. It recodes itself. The amount of light. Are you noticing that you feel energy inside of your body more? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I feel like I feel like energy is like trying to get out, like trying to jump it's out of me. It busts out of you. That's your it's life. A different, it's a different. And so you're saying when when yes. you when you transcend internally to the fifth, is that when the light body comes in, and then the body itself starts to? The ascend? light body will actually activate in the fourth dimension. In the fourth, okay. Because okay. at the time that it's activating, it's trying to start building your Merkaba in order to bring your physical body through, but your consciousness has to expand into your field long enough for your Merkaba to build. Mm. When you expand your consciousness, it means, now, now you wanna know the cool part about the Merkaba? Mm. We, we have many things that we do. Um, you know, in, in, in the early days, and see, when I became Thoth, in, in my very beginning, then it was you bring through all the new information on the light body in the Merkaba. And nobody had ever heard of it, any of this before because we have to actually do it. It was done through the divine feminine. Mm. And once you do it, you have the knowledge. And so I actually had to do it and share the knowledge on how this was done because it's simple. Anything you do through the divine feminine is simple. If you do it through the masculine, it's going to be complicated and hard because you're trying to use your linear head. Yeah, that's right. I surrender. <laughs> surrender, baby. Just, I surrender. Yeah. Every every divine feminine I've been talking to throughout my day, I surrender. <laughs> Mother God, I surrender. Yeah. yeah. Well, and each one of us, we have, you know, this is this is not a male or female thing. This is a soul thing. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, <laughs> I lost. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break you no, up there. You're fine. So we were talking about the light body coming in. Okay. In the fourth. So, so the cool part. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're talking about the cool part of the Merkaba. Yeah. Okay. So how we actually the easiest way to activate your Merkaba is do the opposite of what you would have done as an ego human. Yeah. If it doesn't make sense, do it. <laughs> That's what I started yeah, doing about but, a month ago. But if it's hard. So yes. So, so energetically, it's going to be hard. You're not going to, if you would have lied, you're going to tell the truth. If you would have mm. hidden, you're going to open up. If you would have uh -huh. suppressed that, you're going to not suppress it anymore. And so basically, you're going to go through the roughness of the energy itself that we held inside. Uh, you know, we, we couldn't speak our truth. We right, couldn't right. stand up for ourselves. And, and so when we, when our hearts open, we, you know, we become vulnerable, which we, at first we think is a lack of power, but it's actually the opposite through that vulnerability is where all the beauty and everything is birthed. And it's also where your power comes through, but on a divine level, a right, pure right, one. Right. And so if your ego wants to, let's say, hide, then you say, no, I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm going to open up and I'm going to be open. If your ego doesn't want to communicate, you have to soften, open your heart, and you have to learn to communicate. So you're basically going to do the opposite of what your ego did. And what happens is that's, that's bringing everything into consciousness. And when you bring it into consciousness, your Merkaba will actually build itself. You don't have to do mm -hmm. anything, which is kind of cool. That is cool. That you is do cool. have to deal with the intensity of the energy. Yeah. So when yeah. the fear comes up, instead of believing the fear, you go, no, this is fear energy. I'm going to let it clear my body. And you clear the fear energy as programming. Most hmm. people don't understand that when you feel fear, it's your light body activating. Well, if they well, did, they did. <laughs> we might do some things different, but I think people are picking up on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's why we're supposed to share all this information is so it can be easier for everybody so that they can do this easier than we did because we had to like fall through it and be drugged through it all, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Huh? <laughs> um, uh, your Merkaba will build itself. It's your ascension vehicle that will actually, and, and when your Merkaba kicks in, um, it gets a bit weird um, because you forget who you are. You can't process thought. Your consciousness will expand really fast. Your sugar will drop, mm. especially with crystalline. Uh, your sugar will drop a lot when your crystalline kicks in. Um, you will feel 30 feet tall inside of your body. It's kind of cool. You will be re, you know, you can look at the ground and it'll be really far away. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're walking with space boots. 
and and so you, this weird experience you won't remember your name you won't know how to get you know for me I, when i was out and about and my merkaba would kick in and you know it would kick in in the most inopportune places which is how it works because you're not in control hmm. when when you're when you're not able to be in control or foods will actually kick certain things in too but um my Maricopa would kick in and then I, and I wouldn't remember my name or who I was. And I'd be walking around and, and in this bubble and time would change. And so like when I'd get on an airplane, I'd be in my bubble walking around and everybody outside my bubble would be running really fast. But time was at a halt inside my bubble. It was really cool because wow. you literally walk. Your bubble is your universe. That's your whole universe right there. Mm. And you, you know, I went through physical body ascension, walking around and going to the grocery store and, and going to the airport and getting on a plane and, and, and sitting in my bedroom. And, and, you know, over years period of time, it took a while. Wow. And each time at first, because my body's vibration was so low, I would go unconscious. I'd, pa I'd pass out. Now, in the early phases, when I was deep asleep, it's called diabetes. Mm. It's called all these other things that most people have no clue what's really going on. Mm. I would go into diabetic comas because my body couldn't process my light. Because I was holding so much inside of me that was out of tune, all the emotions, all the victim mm. mentality, all the old beliefs, my need to control, all my fears that my body was shut down and you couldn't wake me up. And, and so, you know, this is, an, this is an immense and intense process. All the physical conditions that we've labeled can be explained through higher consciousness from a very opposite way. Yeah. And, and so it's really important to let go of the conditions and the labels. And, you know, I had somebody I was working with over the weekend and I had to stop them because they were, they, they were calling something a certain condition. And I stopped them and I said, stop using the word. Mm -hmm. Tell me the emotion. And they're like, fear. I said, then it's fear. It's not a, it's not a label. As long as you use the label, you believe you lose your power. Yeah. yeah. It is. Just call yeah. it like it is. It's fear energy. Clear the fear and the condition will go. Clear the anger and the condition because your body will retune itself to a higher vibration. It's a cellular cleansing that has to occur to get the lower vibration. All I'm using words to make a point here. Yeah. Your body has to completely transcend the third and the fourth dimension altogether so that it can live in the fifth dimension. It's a frequency bandwidth though. So the when that body was anchored in the third and the fourth dimension because yeah. of the programming held in the body. You have to clear the programming if you want your body to ascend. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, the, yes, it does because uh, I feel that, you know, I mean, and I yeah. see that with people. And yep. uh, my body's, I'm seeing it for the first time. I mean, I don't know, maybe the last two, three, four months. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see it more and more clear as an etheric body, basically, you know. And yeah. uh, and it's, that's why I said the voice is getting louder, telling me, don't do this, do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm about it, to surrender. <laughs> okay, well, let me say this to you. You're given every opportunity to listen. And if you don't listen, your opportunity will go away and it'll get done for you. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Now, the like thing it. about it is, you know, it thinks it's losing something. So reassociate. One of the articles I wrote this week is about reassociate. You're not losing something. You're gaining something. So oh, yeah, yeah. what you're gaining. Yeah. Make, make it about, and anything we think we're losing, you know, like for me, when I had to change the foods I was eating, my ego was pitching a fit. The one thing I started to do was look at myself and ask myself the question, am I doing this out of respect? And if the answer was mm. not so, I didn't do it anymore mm. because it's about deep self-respect and we don't hold that in the beginning. Mm. That's so heavy. Yeah, when that's... You came, and that's how I broke that programming because my habit was to do this. I had to cut out all white foods. I had to cut out meats. I had to cut out all these things that my ego pitched a fit about. Now yeah. I had to, because my body was shutting down. I had to because I was basically at the brink of death again for like, because star seeds, a lot of us will have to go through the brink of death to have begged to be here, which is what anchors us in our body here. Okay. 
Okay. So a lot, you know, star seeds have certain traits, if you will. And technically we're all star seeds. So, so that's yeah, not, yeah. you know, we're all star seeds. We're all gatekeepers. We're all grid keepers. We're all way showers. We're all, all of these things. It's just who's fulfilling those roles without being in their ego. Yeah. You know, well, that's another good one. You, mm. We're all, we're all this. It's just who is taking it seriously and who really respects. Well, you know, I love I, that's I, I don't mean, I just want to say I love that because it's such a simple, it's just like, a, it's pure yeah. gold. But if you, it, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, it reminds me of that adage or that saying, uh, integrity is what you're doing when nobody's watching. Well, you and know? here what happens, you start understanding your higher self is watching you. Yeah. You can't get away from, with anything <laughs> anymore. And, and so, you know, in, Okay, so uh, we have to go all over the place with these. <laughs> your higher yeah. self is always watching your human. Yeah. See what you're going to do. That's why I tell everybody, this is always a test. Every moment is a test to see what you're going to choose. And if you do not choose, okay, so most of us don't understand because of the higher vibrations, cosmic vibrations, with the clearing of the cosmic Akash. We have many Akashas to clear. Um, and, and we go through all of them. I didn't get to the cosmic Akash and now Gaia is at, at the cosmic Akash and universally and Gaia and all these things too. Um, which is why everything's going down the way it is. It's a clearing of the Akash and it's done through the distortions becoming so loud and visible that you can clear the emotions yeah. Yeah. and the energy and you can see it. It'll be exacerbated. That's what photonic light does. But it also gives us the, uh, the ability for our consciousness to, to travel all the different dimensions and stuff like that. So you can lay in bed, I call it going back under, lay in bed when the photons are really, really high and close your eyes and you can travel through that yeah. light. You can travel into the other dimensions and you you can see. And for years, what I would do was I would, I would, you know, <laughs> everybody else would go work really hard and I'd go jump in the bed and close my eyes and go, okay, let's go travel. And, and, and I started finding out how easy it could be if I would surrender and go get in the bed and go to sleep. And because I could go into all the other dimensions and I could access the information, then I could get up and go do what I needed to do in this physical reality to make it happen. Because yeah. that's your divine masculine energy. You get access to all the other dimensions and you get to see what you agreed to, to fulfill. You get to see what, why you're here on this planet to start with and all the roles and purposes and missions and all these different things, you'll see them all. And then it, it's whether you're going to get up and accomplish it because our physical abundance is tied to how we fulfill our higher purposes here. Yes. And so that. we are clearing a ridiculous amount of karma and karma is just an unconscious program. It's all of our existence and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and so it's a part of our, our own matrix programming. And so like a lot of people look out there at the outside matrix, but it's inside. Go inside and find yeah. your own matrix programming and yeah. collapse it yourself. Yeah. You know, every exchange that I have is a timeline and I get to look at it and say, is this a karmic one or is this one of pure source light? Yeah. And if, it's come, if there's any lack or any need or any, because humans have agendas, humans have lack, humans, yeah. you know, the ego shows up when it wants something. It doesn't show up to contribute. It doesn't show up saying, I have something to offer here. Let me, let me help. It's, it's there with its hand out. And so what we start doing and realizing is that we don't want that in our reality anymore. And the answer is no. Yeah. No. Yeah. And yeah, you that's a big one. Yourself. Oh yeah, it's going to be a big one because the divine masculine is the one that nips it in the bud. It's the Ooh. one that says no, no more, not my reality. This is not acceptable, and and it's a part of. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I like that one. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay. I'm finally getting some brownie points here. <laughs> okay, the divine masculine is the one that says no more. You, we have human aligned realities and we have soul aligned realities and everybody's realities are being soul aligned for them. Well, when right. you understand that you can align your reality yourself, you have a much easier ride, but you're doing it as love. Yeah. Now exactly. here's the tricky part. If you're in a dualistic reality, you will always have to choose yourself. Because Ooh, you're hearing like... duality 
oh, from yeah, a reality yeah. you created from a dualistic state to start with. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so we have to look at it and say, I love you, but no, this is unacceptable. Exactly. No, this is no yeah. longer aligned. And what we do is you say no, and you let everybody go play the realities out somewhere else. It doesn't really matter because our new realities are all vibrational and everybody's yeah. got to have the same. And this is where it gets tricky is because not everybody has the same soul purposes. Not everybody wants the same thing. Yeah. Not everybody. We all are functioning from unity consciousness, which is what clears your karma. Unity yeah. consciousness clears all karma. Unity consciousness brings forth all your abundance. Unity but it's a unified state inside of yourself where there's no more separation anymore. There's no more duality inside. There's no battle going on inside. It's exactly. nope, not okay. It, yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like higher consciousness. The human True. ego does not like higher consciousness. It messes with their reality. They don't have any control. And right now observing the other day, um, the human ego is being taught humility right now. Yeah. who's in charge and basically it's the whole cosmos yeah it's not the human anymore and so mm. gaia is teaching humans who's in charge and and so when we expand our consciousness to connect with gaia and become you become gaia you, you become the consciousness. You have Gaia consciousness. You have unity. You have all these different consciousnesses that you will embody for how, for your whole presence to be that. You mm. don't ever turn it off. Okay? You don't go unconscious anymore. You don't pretend to be small anymore. You don't pretend not to be worthy anymore. You don't pretend. Notice the words. In the beginning for me, I, I one day... I went small <laughs> and I heard the words, oh, you're pretending again not to have enough. Oh, you're pretending again not to be enough. And I was like, oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> well, and, and the cool part is you have this dialogue that goes on inside of you 24 hours a day. You're talking to yourself. Yeah. You're communing on a soul level and you work through everything you see everything, you know, and, and what I started doing was telling people, I don't want to hear what you think. I want to know what you see because you mm. force them to go through their heart. What do you see? Yeah. Now, when you have humans, the ego going through emotions, that's why I stopped asking what people felt. Because when you see from inside, you have to feel at the same time. Mm. Yeah. So, and our light bodies are very different. You process light intelligence. You process light codes. You process light data. And it takes longer in the beginning when, when your light body starts coming online, butterflies everywhere. Mm -hmm. You actually have to stop. What used to take five minutes or two seconds, your brain used to just output on a human level. You can't figure it out. You're sitting there staring at it going, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You cannot process a linear thought. The reason being is it takes your whole body. You have to sit with it until you can see because thought comes through your whole body connection. Now your pineal gland has to open up for you to see the picture. Everything's visual here. Yeah. And so what will happen is for you to process light intelligence, light codes, light information, doesn't matter whatever words we want to use. That light is your pure source light. That light is you. Yeah. That light is you on a soul level for you to Todd, you're going to be laying in the bed and your body's going to be going zoom, 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 zoom. And you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be like, Oh my God, it, you're, you're like laying in a pod. It's your light ship mm -hmm. and your body will recharge, recode, recalibrate, and you'll be there for hours while your body yeah. does what it needs to do. And then what will happen is when the body's done, you'll start a tuning process and you'll start emitting plasma energy and electromagnetic energy and you'll go poof. Kind of weird. No, I haven't, I haven't gone poof. Last week, though, I had about, I think it was two days. One day, it was uh, probably about six hours. I, uh -huh. I, I had to lay down. I, I wasn't yep. going to sleep, but my whole body was vibrating and tingling. Yep. And, I, and I was telling Morgan, I'm like, I don't know what to do. You know, what am I supposed to do? You, 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 you yeah. lay down. You, you yeah. let completely go. You surrender. You will, your consciousness will start when you let completely go and let the body do what it needs to do. It's tuning. 
Yeah. Okay. It's raising its vibration. It's clearing old timelines. It's doing a ridiculous yeah. amount of work. Yeah. You let go and surrender. You lay there with your body. You can actually take your consciousness inside your body and watch what it does. You can actually listen and your body will tell you, oh, hold on. Let me let me make some up here the, of some of the ones I've mm -hmm. gone through for years. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I'm walking through the downstairs and it's like ocular, ocular, something or another. And I'm like, oh, OK. And you go look it up and it tells you what's going on with the frequencies right then. And that's why my eyes weren't working. I'm like, oh, OK. Your pineal gland becomes your primary eye. Yeah. And yeah. your two eyes go fuzzy. So that you can actually see backwards. Your hearing will change. Your ear canals, your nasal canals, everything goes through like a ridiculous reworking process for, with the mm -hmm. physical body, your lymphatic system. Every organ has to be brought online um, on a much higher dimensional frequency. So the physical body can drop the density. Now that's density and weight are two different things. Yeah. The body yeah. gets bigger when it's dropped in density. OK, so you're not technically we'll lose weight, we'll gain weight, we'll lose, we'll gain, we'll get bigger, we'll get smaller. But the weight doesn't often change, which is funny, because what you're doing is you have more space inside for your light cells to zoom, zoom, zoom and move around. Now, the cool part is when those cells are moving. Dependent on the consciousness that we've been able to achieve within ourselves, if you will. Right, right. When my light body first started to activate, then I had access to becoming, you will lay down and close your eyes and you'll be floating out, out in outer space. You'll be the universe. Yeah, yeah. You'll be zooming around through the planets. You'll be like, it, 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 and it's bizarre. You will feel like you're going to leave the body. You're, the human aspect will want to kick in and hang on. You'll feel gravity go. When, when you've activated enough light in your body, gravity will go. And yeah. so all this weird stuff starts happening. That is a very important part of this process. Eventually we acclimate to this. So I can just go, oh, gravity just went because I can walk around and do now because I can tell. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going through these things anymore. I can I can hear, see, feel everything simultaneously while I do 12,000 other things. Um, but yes. at first you can't do anything. You have to surrender. And let yeah. completely go and trust and know that what your body is going through right now is the most important thing because it's your light activating. It's your light integrating inside of your body. Now, the cool part is I'm going to explain this to make a point. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. I've got a ton of white birds. They're beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. There's like 20 or 30 of them all just. Wow. That's the whole sky is turning in crystalline and everything else. I'll have to show you. Oh, that's awesome. It is. I don't think you can see. See, I have no lines no. around my clouds. They're all soft. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's electromagnetic. E each cloud is different. So you have electromagnetics, you have crystalline, you have plasma. Everything <laughs> looks differently. Um, when your body, when you surrender your body so it can do what it needs to do, it's more intelligent than our human is. Okay. It's starting to get the that. body knows what it needs to do. The beauty is as you embody this light, that light spans every dimension. Yeah. So when you embody this light, you span all those dimensions too. From inside of you, you have access to everything simultaneously. We don't procrastinate. We just get up and go do it. There's no making excuses. There's no, you see what needs to be done. You get up and you go accomplish it. And boom, new realities. Here they come. Yeah. Boom. You know, back to bed. <laughs> back to bed. And Whoa. wake up. And, you know, you have on a human level the things that you do. And then you have on a higher self the, the things that you do. And then on a soul level, we have all these different levels that we function from. When you hit avatar consciousness, then it's all of them. So so it, it's quite a bit. And it, it's immense the things that we have to accomplish and do all day, every day to maintain every physical reality and hold all these states of consciousness simultaneously and function too. So it takes a lot of rest. It takes a lot of alone time. It takes a lot of letting everybody and everything go that doesn't support your yeah. highest everything. Yeah, that's right. 
because if it's not supporting, then you're the one compromising and you're the one that, that that's not in tune. It's that respect question. It's everything is about respect here. The, the deepest form of love is also the deepest form of respect. Yeah. And so what will clear karma is a lack of respect. The moment that there's a lack of respect, we say no, and you can clear the entire timeline right then. When you say no, you can clear it. Now, when you, when, as we start being able to see down entire timelines, like eons, years, everything's vibrational. So the moment you come into contact with somebody, you can see all the possibilities. You can see all the purposes. You can see all the things that, that are available and what could be. The tricky part is that person might not be ready yet. Right. They might not be ready for all that you can see, which means they're not ready for your reality, but they're ready for all their realities. And you can you have to respect that and let them go play their realities out their way, which the yeah. human can't do. The human ego wants to hold on and judge yeah. and, and, you know, they weren't ready yet. And, you know, I went through it too for years. I went through a lot of people along the way. We all play our roles out. You're clearing all those karmic timelines. You're serving higher purposes together. But there comes a point that you've cleared all of that. Where that yeah. everything is all done as pure source like purity. And, and I mean, it's the very purest. There's no ego, not one ounce of it. Yeah. And it's not yeah. allowed to come into the picture. If it does, you call it out, you deal with it, you move through it, it's gone. We don't get hung up on it. We don't, we don't have yeah. any emotion about any of it. Nobody cares. It's, it's not a race. It's not a race. It just, yeah. it was just a vehicle, so to speak, you, you know, almost like you could almost say the energetic vehicle until you woke up. I mean, uh -huh. that's, that's all we knew. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, I, want, I wanted to ask you something. I want to sure. keep talking about this, but, but I'm, I'm just curious. I'm really got to say this because I, I got to be authentic <laughs> for right, myself. I want to change your word because human's word is okay. authentic. And, okay. and, and I want you to change your word to genuine because you can feel the word. Yeah, genuine's more like innocence to me. Yeah. So you so go to genuine because it I actually wanna, makes it more real. Go ahead. Yeah, I like that. I want to be genuine and say that I want to ask you this question for my own purposes, but okay. I'm certainly think it'll be helpful for everybody. What is your diet? I mean, at this point in the game, <laughs> my body's my body's giving me all kinds of crazy. Mm -hmm. well, they're not crazy, but it's getting louder and louder. I see what's coming. I'm not stupid. So every phase is different. Okay, so <laughs> different, and we can be in all different phases simultaneously at the same time. Mine went through, I went, you go through chunk. Okay, so here, all right, let me back up. We can be in all of them at the same time, but we can go through a phase for a couple years when we're prominently in that phase for a while going through the DNA rewrite. Okay. Okay. So let's say up to the point that I started waking up, I was always in and out of all of these, but I didn't understand and I was unconscious so my body couldn't process. Your body has to be able to process light and the more emotions, the, the more egoic victim emotions that you have yeah. going on, your body can't process the light. Gotcha. Now that, that emotional pain will become physical pain when your light body activates and is trying to activate the physical body starts clearing an immense amount of excruciating pain for a lot of people. That's what was trapped in the cellular body. Mm. Okay. And it's all existences. It's not just this one. Don't get hung up on the stuff. You don't really care. I tell people don't care. Just say clear body, clear, 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 give your body permission to clear, get on board, tell your body. Okay. Clear, clear, clear. When it comes up, don't suppress it. Don't repress it. Go all into it, get it out of your body and keep moving. Allow for your body to process and integrate and clear and cleanse. Assist the body. It's the most important thing. We didn't have a clue how much was anchored in the body. Our entire physical reality out there is in our body. Yes. Okay. Now, our field of consciousness can't fit into the body because there's so much crap inside. So you have to clear the body out so your field of consciousness, your light, can fit into your body, which is why the body expands. I don't know how else to explain this, Todd. So no, that makes, that makes total sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As your field outside comes inside, then what was inside goes out. 
And right. eventually your physical body will change vibrationally to walk in, in completely different dimensions. And you can walk in all of them simultaneously. Sometimes when we first ascend, we can't see the third and the fourth dimension anymore for a while. And, and so then they will come back in and you'll be able to see them. But then it's a different part of the journey. Then it's to be in your, you, you have a um, roles to play here. Yeah. And stuff. And so that's a very different part of the process. It's about mastering the physical reality and bringing everything in your physical reality into alignment on a soul level yourself. Yeah. Every person, everything, everything, your whole relationship, your job, everything has to be fully aligned. Yes, Nothing gets absolutely. left out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now to food. Food. For the, for the physical body to drop density, for the physical body to integrate light, for the physical body to clear all of that emotional stuff, for physical body ascension to occur, it has to go completely clean. All green, live foods, the cleanest water that you can, get all the chemicals out because the pineal gland has to open too and, and our heart has to link up with Gaia's consciousness. Okay, crystals, Whatever you got to do, get your physical body vibration as high as you can because it, it, it will be a much easier ride. Um, food, I actually had to do because I was so chronic and had so many issues and I was so deep asleep and deep beneath the veils and my body was shutting down and my body was dying, literally. I went through organ yeah. failure, every organ, all of it because I had so much stuff inside. Wow. Um, when, when it was time for me to start to love and respect my body, I went clean. Mm. All of a sudden you develop a new relationship with your body where you love and respect it. And, and you apologize for all the hell you put it through. You apologize if you will for not having a clue. Yeah. Yeah you start to understand the role that your body plays and that your body was deep asleep. You have a consciousness of your body that has to wake up inside of the body, which is how your soul comes through you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, first I went clean, I detoxed, I got my body, you know, you start exercising some of the, I, I want to look good again, comes back in. And that's part of the light body waking up. Then what will happen is, as we go through physical body ascension, then it's dark chocolate for the pineal gland. Okay. Lots of dark chocolate. Peanut butter is a, is another one. That's a big mm -hmm. deal. Um, years of peanut butter. Um, I used to sleep with Reese's pieces in my bed, bags of them. <laughs> and then, then I went to organic clean chocolate and I slept with chocolate bars and, and I used to, you know, I would wake up covered in chocolate and freak out. Oh my God, didn't know what had happened to me and, and realized I'd gone to sleep with the chocolate because when photonic light hits you, it's the drooling energy. You can't function. I used mm -hmm. to call it the crawl from room to room energy because you can barely get up, make it to the bathroom and then you're back out again. Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember anything. It's heavy duty timeline clearing. It's heavy light anchoring. And we're about to come into that this next week. As soon as we pass through this eclipse, uh, new moon, we're going to get jacked. Really? Oh, yay. <laughs> get yay. ready. Every new moon, the whole week after, you're going to go through massive anchoring. And, and pineal gland and crystals and all that kind of stuff. Now, when you're crystalline, when your light body kicks in, you don't need a lot of food. But dark chocolate and some of these odd things um, will come in. Um, I cut coffee out for a while and then I came back on coffee because it helped stimulate my brain so I could actually do all the linear processes and keep yeah, going yeah. each day. Yeah. But I went to clean organic coffee, everything organic, everything clean. And for all of those that say I can't afford it, it has to become our priority. The moment you make these things your priority, the money you need will come through. Yes. Yeah. And so when I made my light body my priority, when I made my soul my priority, when I made and I spent the money on myself, my soul, my light body, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I had enough money. It, it always, you know, that's where we start understanding is you don't compromise on a soul level ever again. 
and your soul. That's why I wrote the piece I did the other day about is your soul tangible? Because humans will only spend money on, on tangible things and they don't understand your soul is the most tangible thing you have and the soul of everybody else. Yeah, that humans was don't respect each other. They don't respect the work they do. The, what they're going to understand is as time comes to zero point field, they're going to run out of time. And all of a sudden, time, you become the commodity. You become, your energy becomes precious and your energy is what creates and your energy is what you put. Well, humans don't respect energy. They don't pay for energy. And they don't understand that energy is their soul. They don't respect their soul. They don't respect the souls of other people. And so this is all about respect. Every bit of it. From a, for each other on a soul level in ourselves. And if that deep sacred respect is missing, then, then our whole world's out of alignment. And, and so foods, when you hit the crystalline phase, it's all sugar, cupcakes, muffins, bread. <laughs> and um, when I started seeing, I, I was able to actually, with my human eyes, see the crystals under my skin. And, and so I would go take videos of them and say, look, people, um, yeah. and put them up. But bread helps you weave the abundance cords inside of your body. And so all the people cutting out bread, I used to say, you're kind of screwing yourself. Okay. There are certain things our body needs. What it does is your light body will take what it needs from the thing that it, you eat. And then it'll chunk the rest or dump the rest. Okay. Okay, so where we used to urinate, drop in density, urinate, urinate, your body can become self-sustaining. You'll stop urinating. Your body will produce its own liquids. The crystals in your body, you'll heat up, you'll cool down, you become like a nuclear reactor. It's bizarre and weird, but this is the multidimensional body, okay? We heat up, we cool down, it activates the crystals in our body. The crystals in our body um, turn us into computer processors where you can actually process a ridiculous amount of light data. Mm -hmm. You can see all the dimensions. You can see all you, you read a field of consciousness. Everybody that walks around, everything is understood. Everything's visible. Um, humans aspects, third and fourth dimensional body transmit unconscious frequencies. Yeah. And yeah. those things scream and are really loud. Nobody has to say anything. Human calls it telepathic. It's right. more than telepathic. Okay, it's an electromagnetic field, a unified field of consciousness. And when you become the unified field of consciousness, then everybody's in your field. Right, right. And, and right. you have to take great care in what you allow in your field, because now that transmission is going to affect your ability to function. Yeah. We have to synchronize to be able to stay in the same place for very long. It's a very different existence here. It takes a lot of work on our part. It takes a lot of consideration. It takes a lot of respect. It takes a lot of everybody being fully conscious to even coexist in the same realities here. Wow. Because if, if one person is unconscious, they're transmitting that out through the field and it disrupts the entire field of consciousness. I have to tell everybody, go to the beach, go do something else before you come to my house. Don't bring your stuff up in my house. Because they don't understand that, that if they're chaotic inside, that chaotic energy is, is going out in every direction and then it interferes. And then we have to overcompensate. Yeah. And, and so there's this whole thing uh, of being able to function through the unified field of consciousness as a unified field. Well, what you start understanding is that the other person isn't unified inside. Mm. There's no unity inside. They're in chaos. They're in duality. They're playing out all this stuff and they're transmitting that out and it disrupts the field. For being productive, for being accomplishing, you have to cut all that stuff out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Back to foods. Crystalline is sugars and muffins and live food one day and the next minute you're completely famished and you're starving your sugar will drop you can't eat enough right then then all of a sudden you can't eat that anymore and then cosmic rays kick in and then all of a sudden you're nauseous because the cosmic rays kicked in and you can't eat that food when cosmic rays kick in you can't eat live foods you can only eat carbohydrates and starches okay your body is basically killing off the old programming literally your light mm -hmm. is going through your body and it's i call it seek and destroy 
your light obliterates the old programming. It's cosmic rays, it's radioactive. And so these radioactive rays are being emitted on a photonic level from your cells. Mm -hmm. And they are obliterating the old programming and you'll get sick and nauseous when, when you're going through cosmic photonic uh, radioactive energies emitting from your body, killing off all of this stuff. And you will not be able to eat lime food during that time. And it can be day. I have any time I go through the new moon, I know I'm going to be eating, 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 eating. You're famished. You eat and you eat and eat, but you don't gain any weight. Your body's yeah. taking everything yeah. it needs from this food and it's discarding the rest. Yeah. yeah. Be because we're eating all lies, um, a lot of the times your body doesn't have the waste anymore. So, so how your body functions completely changes. It's breaking food down and using it. It becomes like light cells storage. You become like a solar panel. Yeah. You literally store light in, in your cellular body, which is why it gets bigger so you can function on light. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. Plasma energy is salt and potato chips. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> it's nothing like it was before. All the old belief systems have to be chunked out the window. Everything you saw it, it's not going to play out here. What's going to happen is you're going to ask your body, what does it want? It's going to yeah. tell you what it wants. If it's craving blueberries, then you need a buttload. You know, sometimes I, yeah, I lived on blueberries. And, mm -hmm. and, and it, you know, all these things feed a different part of the body and um, when I was expanding really fast, my, my body would heat up and it would burn. Um, your skin changes, your color tones change, everything mm -hmm. changes about your body. Um, now you said, you right? did you say that these can occur simultaneously? Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, not they, one after the other necessarily. Because some of these things you, all the time, but then yeah. what will happen is let's say that, okay, so I'll use mine as an example. Once I went to physical body ascension, then my light body operating on, on gamma frequencies, I had gotten up and it's like, okay, get up each day and go to work, get up each day, actually go take a shower, put your clothes on and get yourself in the mindset. You have to get your whole body on board with mm -hmm. producing. And it's all like, right. get up, develop the courses, step into all your fears. Because yeah. it's time to start getting yourself out there. When you start moving into becoming the whole universe, it's time to start doing a lot of these things if we haven't before. Okay. Once I got the groundwork laid, because you're laying a whole new foundation for reality. Right all on. upon new earth energies, which is love, respect, unity, kindness, compassion, sharing, generosity. A huge one yeah. to break the root chakra, ego stuff. Yeah. Okay. And so while you're going through all of this, then your crystalline will be activating all along the way. But once I completed, I'm using words to make a point. Yes. My initial light body phase of about a year, I don't know, year and a half of produce, 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 right, right, right. Do for everybody. Do, 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 do mass consciousness. Get up, do the sessions in the middle of the night. Get up. Because what happens is you don't have time. You don't adhere to time anymore. So my universe right. would make, wake my little human up and tell me to get up at three o'clock in the morning and write for people on the other side of the world. Well, my human will be complaining. Are you serious? I want to sleep. And it's like, no, get up. Yeah. Because I had things to do because you become a universal being that isn't bound by human linear time anymore. And in order yeah. to do that, you have to let the constraints of time go. And so I actually had to get up and work all the way around the clock to break the clock cycle. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Once I was willing to work, then I didn't have to get up in the middle of the night anymore, but I did have to do that for a few years. Um, once you get the certain things, the groundwork for certain things laid, then your crystalline will kick in. Once you've held an ascended state of consciousness long enough, then your crystalline phase is going to kick in because the things that you have created, they're going to start to support you now. Yeah. The things yeah. you've created are now going to start to support you. So you, you actually will kick back and sleep a little bit more again because you're integrating a ridiculous amount of light again for your crystalline light body to come online. And that's what brings everybody online with um, crystalline new earth. All right. Okay. 
Then once we complete that cycle, which took me a few years, um, I think every cycle for me was a year and a half to two years. Then once I came through that, um, because your body has to restore itself back to the original template. And so you have to go through clearing all your distortions. You know, a lot of people don't like the fact that, uh, you know, when the celibacy thing, celibacy thing comes in. Yeah. But yeah. that's the part of the process too for a template to restore itself to original yeah. program. You can't crisscross your DNA. Yeah, I, I can vouch for that four and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> And, and so being restored back to original template, which means you don't carry the distortions anymore. You're aware of them that they, they can still appear, but they don't play out. It's like, no, yeah, way. that's what I love about what you said e even earlier, because as much as you've experienced and, and much as you've ascended, I mean, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, you still, you don't erase the, the what you call human. You, it doesn't go away. It's still there. It's part of the it's team. A very, well, it's a very small part of who you are though. Yes, it's, uh, yes. It's still there. Yeah. Um, you, you will always have an ego. The only difference is it doesn't run the show anymore. It's you're aware that it's there, but it's so small. You rarely ever see it or hear from it. Only when we hit high distortion time. Okay, so the higher. All right, let me go back. When we hit high photon activity, the purpose mm -hmm. of the high photonic activity, one of the purposes, because there's a bazillion of these is to exacerbate distortions can, so you can hear, see, feel them and clear yeah. them yourself. Yes. Yeah. And so it, it assists us with bringing everything into full consciousness by saying, no, you have to choose. That's the part everybody says free will, free will. Well, they don't understand free will. That's like the ego running around going free will. It has no clue what free will is. Okay. Free will means that you're going to choose how you're going to do the journey, comfortable or uncomfortable, suffering, or on board. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay. That's, That's the, the real part deal. of free will we get. Every bit of this was predetermined before ever walking in yeah. here. And once you can see the whole picture, once all that opens up, then then you don't need free will anymore because you're so fully aligned yeah. and, and unified yeah. inside. There's no questions anymore. The only thing person that needs free will is the ego. Yeah. Because it doesn't want to suffer. Notice how backwards everything is? Yeah. Um, right. The ego will avoid every bit of this at all cost. Consciousness is a threat to the ego. I, everything is a threat to the ego. And so what, what you start to understand, and that's a part of the nervous system, every light body, we have different levels of the light body, not a better than somebody else type thing. Okay, it's an yeah. evolutionary process yeah. of holding light, period. Okay. Um, once when we hit a certain level of consciousness within ourselves, then we enter into a the next phase of evolution as pure source light with our physical body. And it's a part of the embodiment process. Avatar consciousness is an immense part, it's where the keys of the kingdom are granted. It's it's where every moment you walk in is heaven on earth. You don't you don't experience any of the other stuff anymore. If it does, it's very short lived, and you deal with it, and you move through it, and you move on. Yeah. You let go snap, of snap. reality right then, gone. Yeah. We close every timeline out ourselves. We close them out on purpose because the moment you close out the old distorted timelines, the new ones open up. Yeah. And, and so you start understanding how this works and it becomes really easy because you're no longer willing to compromise. You're not yeah. willing to suffer. You're not willing to do without. You're not willing to play in the old games. We don't allow judgment. We don't get caught up in what other people are doing. We don't care what everybody else does. That's right. You're here to, to manage yourself. Yeah. You're here to observe as your higher self. You're going to observe your human and you're going to say, no, human, you don't get to run the show anymore. Nope. Yeah. And you just say no. That that pretty much ends it. The yeah. only thing that on a human level, the human can't say no. It will succumb to the old stuff. It yeah. will it will give in. It will compromise. And that's where all the anger comes from, is because anger is compromise. Yeah. And, yeah. and so when you stop compromising, you don't have to get angry anymore. 
So really, it's a it's a no, and there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> it's just no. And you well, just okay. Going. So now let's take it to the next level. Yeah. If you if we are the conscious one, then it depends on the okay. So hold on, let me word this a couple of ways. If we're the conscious one, we have the capability. Conscious means your heart is open and your mind is open and you care. Yes. Okay. You're considerate. You're respectful. You're kind. You're, you're willing to bring that whole reality into consciousness now. Yeah. Which means having a conversation. There's no ego. So it's not against the other person. It's for everybody. Right. It's for all of us. It's because we love each other so deeply on a soul level. It's because our relationships are pure. Yes. And so from this, this place in this space, we can talk about anything. Yeah. But if you have a human ego involved, it gets his feelings hurt. It doesn't want to hear it. There's resistance going on. There's, impos there's imposing. There's projecting. There's all this stuff yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, I'm going to say it this way just to make a point. Our level of consciousness will dictate how easy bringing it into full consciousness is going to be yeah because if we were unconscious before and we called forth a really strong du duality reality and duality just means there's a lack of love and respect there yeah there's a lack Separate. of integrity and, and integrity is on a soul level it's not a human one they're very different levels of integrity respect is a different level of respect okay so yeah. What will happen is that if we are being kind and loving to ourselves, we're able to be kind and loving to everybody else. If we are respecting ourselves, we can be respectful to everybody else. But if we have allowed for disrespect, if we have an emotion going on, then we have to pull away until all of that is gone. And then yeah. we can come together and we can work through things. Now, the, the more crystalline, the more plasma, the more light we hold. I'm just using words here to make a point. The easier yeah. this is and the faster it is too, because the more crystalline our body, the faster we process light, which means we don't have the delay that the human does anymore. So the human aspect, the dense physical body going from carbon based to crystalline, carbon based to silicone, carbon based to all these different bodies that we have, plasma, okay? Yeah. The dense human body takes days and weeks and months to clear that emotion. We don't because we've cleared it from our body. We just move the emotion out and then we work together. We don't have, it doesn't take a long time. You know, if I have something big hit, I might take a day or two. And I won't go back and respond or I won't go have that conversation until I've cleared all of that emotion. So you're ready. Side of yeah. Me. And then I will come together and then and I will always bring it into a higher state of consciousness. It will always be about our relationship and how much we care about each other. It will yeah. always be on a soul level. It will not be about what the human did. It will be about and this is the cool part, Todd. It's no longer about what they did. It's what's acceptable right now. You let go of what they did. It's what you're going to tolerate and allow. Yeah. Now you determine, each one of us determine what's acceptable. And what is acceptable is what is aligned. And if it's not aligned, it's not acceptable. That's it's right. Any given the shape or time. The reason being is the moment you allow it and you go back into that consciousness, your body transmits a different coordinate and it actually carries your body back to that dimension. Yeah. I'm digging it. I, I, I have to say it different ways to make a point. No, no, you're right. And, and you know, what's interesting is right up, uh, I'd say, and you've seen this before where you would have like in the light worker circles, these, I don't want to know what we would call it, but just this projection. And, and oh, there's uh, all kinds of stuff going oh, on. There. Right. Let but, me tell you. I know, right? I know, right? You, just let them all, you, you let everybody go play that stuff out. You focus your yeah. energy and you go do what's important. Let them yeah. all hash it out. This year, my universe said, let them all hash it out. Don't even yeah. worry about it. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. And that's what I love about what you're saying, because, you know, people mm -hmm. might look at you and say, oh, my God, she's got, you know, but you still are dealing with it. But the process is totally different. The place the you're at is totally different. 
but I, it, but there was like a two three week period right before that eclipse, that blood moon eclipse, and uh -huh. it just got really loud, and everybody's like, "Well, Don't WTF," you know, and mm -hmm. I was just like, "Hey, I mean, I, I'm sure there seemed to be more clarity after it happened." And then you started seeing people very recently, several people wrote about it, about uh, that self-awareness, self-consciousness, yeah. uh, this uh, yes. self-judgment, you know, it's like coming to a head and uh, I, I how it, it doesn't belong. Self-consciousness, though, I, I go back to what you just said, self-consciousness. I yes. want you to look at it from two different. That yeah. word has dual meaning. Yeah, I just got this double entendre there. <laughs> You have self-consciousness on an ego level and you have self-consciousness yeah. as a higher self. Yes, yeah, in conscious, yeah. And one is conscious right. of yourself. Yeah, you're right and about that. It, it has different meanings and pretty much everything has different meanings here. Um, yes, what's going to happen is we are in photonic realities now. Everything is photons. Okay. Everything. So if, if you will watch um, and there are some people who will go post the reports. I listen to them. I hear them. I see them. I, I you know, what I write for you guys is, is what I hear, see, feel. I'm aware of them. I don't need to go look up anything. I hear gamma. OK, gamma disactivated. OK, we just went plasma. There go diamond like codes. There goes the rainbow frequencies, you know, because you become the whole cosmos inside and, and right. your whole inside. Those cosmic frequencies replace human thought. The more you clear those distortions, the less human ego thoughts you have. And it all is replaced with cosmic frequencies. It's a symphony mm. 24 hours a day. Mm. Those frequencies tune your light body. Like an instrument. Yes. Wow. I could not function without my frequencies. I would be lost. Uh, and when actually when I when I trans when I moved over to New Earth with my full body because because you're constantly going back and forth for a while. When when I woke up one morning and I got in the shower and in the shower because everything happens in the bathroom. In the shower, um, the words are "You're on New Earth." Well, I'm standing in the shitty shower going, "What?" <laughs> You know, paint peeling off and, it's a yeah. ball and there's a crack coming through and I'm watching the little spider and I'm going, I'm standing in a shitty shower and I'm on New Earth. <laughs> your, your mind can't comprehend. <laughs> because what happens is we first come through and have access to New Earth. We haven't cleared all of our lack. Right. Now right. it's time to consciously clear your lack programming. And everywhere mm -hmm. you compromised and where you believe the physical reality first. Now you start standing in your mastery. Now your consciousness dictates the physical and the physical matter will actually realign according to your consciousness. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and so now it's about um, focusing your consciousness. You can take your consciousness anywhere you want to yeah. if you're completely in tune and you can activate any reality. You can open portals. You can go through them. You can walk through them. It's absolutely freaking amazing, but you can't do this if you're in your linear head, discounting the whole right. thing and defending yourself against consciousness. <laughs> yeah, I spend and, it. I love what you. I love what you said earlier. A, a great analogy was uh, when you said when you when you when it comes up and you clear it, you're resetting. Your 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 coordinates are being reset. And yep. we're talking. You know, you're we're changing talking coordinates with your body. Literally, your body actually transmits the coordinates for the dimension that your physical body occupies. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you are very aware of this, uh oh, we lost him. Dude, hey, everybody. <laughs> can you hear me all right? Give me something. Give me something. Can, you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I get you popped out. Oh, you can, can you hear me? Yes, you're back okay, in a good, dimension yeah. now. You had to leave yeah. that dimension and come into this one. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I told you what was happening over here, <laughs> but when you when you were talking earlier, God, I'm gonna have to go listen to the. I'll put it in the comments when I. I'll go back and edit it. Look okay. at no, it. No, just stop. Maybe. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Go ahead. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Close your eyes. Yes. Go inside and call. Tell it to come forth again, and it'll come forth. Mm.
Oh, yeah. How do you put that into words? <laughs> you don't. You, no. You'll learn how. Yeah, so. Uh, you, can, you can access anything by closing your eyes and going inside. You can recall a moment. Um, yeah. And I'm going to say this really quick because it's kind of cool. When I started understanding way back when that I could actually create visual imprints of reality so I could recall them. I when you're that. shifting dimensions so quickly, you can't remember the previous dimension for a while. Mm. You can't remember anything. It's gone. I used to write myself. No, I called them messages in a bottle. I would write myself a message so I could, when I get up the next day, I could remember what I needed to tell myself. You know, right. so we do all these weird things for a while. Your you, your body template will wipe your whole template, and everything goes. Time goes. Everything goes. Your memories go. Everything gets wiped. Your entire akash will clear. Then, once we've gone through a part of the process, you'll access a new new level of akash. So, yeah. so we have an Akashic record in every one of our existences that we have to clear. So, so doing universal Akash or human Akash versus a cosmic Akash, or you have the Lemurian Atlantean timelines. We have, you know, the, the Egyptian, we have all these different Akashas that we have to clear and they're all inside of our body. Yeah. It's all the distortions that have to be cleared. Everything has to be pure. Our entire yeah. existence has to be completely pure which is what yeah. this is about. We're returning to Lemurian consciousness. We're returning to a galactic consciousness, which is pure. We return to God consciousness without the ego. Yeah. We return, this is a returning to consciousness. And what will happen is you will activate that consciousness inside of your body, but then it, start, it opens up a portal, a gateway, an initiation process that we will go through until we complete every initiation to achieve the embodiment of that consciousness, which can take years. Yeah. And so activating a consciousness, a, a lot of people think just because they activated the consciousness, they embody the consciousness. That's not how this works. You activate the consciousness to become aware of it, but then you're going to go through a passageway to clear everything that isn't of that consciousness within you. And it's a massive process and every consciousness. So, so when you start activating all your galactic aspects, every one of them have distortions too. You have to clear all of those. Oh, so wow. Syrian, oh yeah. It, it's, it's massive. Syrian, yeah. Lyran, Lemurian, Atlantean, Egyptian, you know, the list can go on and on. Sorry about yes, that. Yes, I saw, <laughs> I love it. I saw that the at the end of that, huh? at, at the end of that article you wrote about the codes coming in, yeah. I wrote down three words, three, the three words I wrote down were anchoring, yep. full integration, full integration is kind of what you're talking about, and then application, but yeah. uh, at the end of that, you listed a bunch of the different types of codes that were coming in. And I was, I was, uh, yeah. I was, I was really pleased to see, cause I'd never seen somebody's put it that way, but it was all the galactic and it was also the, the earth, uh, yeah. prior civilizations and that type of thing. It's all of them. And see what we don't understand is that it's all a frequency. Okay. Light codes are just frequencies and tones. They're, they're, they're colors. So, so the cosmic rays, they're, they're, they're sound frequency, which is what, the, how the harmonics are created. Yeah. They're harmonizing frequencies. When we say that we are in a harmonic um, realignment, that means that all the frequencies have to, to be realigned. Everything's got to be realigned on a higher frequency than it was before. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so timeline jumping and it, it is just a convergence of all timelines into this space. And when you collapse all timelines into this space and function from this space right here, and you apply that higher state of consciousness to how you live your life, you can collapse all timelines. And then everything that was off in those other times, everything that was unachievable, everything you desire, it all comes right here, yeah, it's right yeah. here. This is where you function from though, here. And, and to true. be able to maintain um, all these light codes, are every light code. They just have a different energy signature, if you will. Yeah. And so Syrian is your no BS, no nonsense. Step up, get your shit together. No more playing the games. Get yourself out there. Step into your fears. Your Syrian is going to push you. Get up. Yeah. 
Okay. Whereas Arcturian is the purest form of love. And, and, and the beauty of the ninth dimensional template that we just completed anchoring in Gaia. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to push the lower dimensional realms harder, though, which means that okay. each person needs to clear those lower dimensions inside of their body within their own self to have an easier ride. Because what happens is the higher we go, the more the lower lower ceases to exist. Yeah. And so if you're hanging on to the old, you get drugged through it. Yeah. So be in your face. Ninth dimension though is, is relative to Arturian frequencies, but they're all always available. It's just that the beauty of the ninth dimensional template means that we get to actually interact with each other on an Arturian level and above now. Mm. Syrian, you know, and I don't like the levels and the numbers, but I do it because it gives a reference point because yes. the human will get all into this competition mode when, when technically it doesn't matter right. it's more making everybody aware so that we can understand how high we're going so that we can understand what we're actually doing here. It brings validity to yeah. something. You know, and, and the fact that we just hit, I had no clue we were hitting a ninth dimensional template. I knew that that we were working on it. I knew wow. that we've been doing this, but I never really pay any attention to it until it comes into my face. And it's time for me to share it with other people, which means that I've accomplished it within myself, along with Gaia as a gatekeeper. OK. And, and so when we woke up um, the week before, I heard nine codes dial. And because I can hear the Stargate codes as they dial and you can hear them being released. And, and I went online. I'm like, OK, we had like nine codes or more released and it like no big deal. Well, the whole next week we're going through this massive free gridding process and stuff. And I wake up and I see the nine again. I'm like nine. Why am I seeing nine again? And, and again, it was ninth dimensional template. But, mm. but because what happens is when it first comes through, you only get to see a part of the picture. I won't rush to say anything to anybody until I have the whole picture. Right, right. Th there's no reason. That's all ego. When I, yeah. when I have the whole picture, when I understand yeah. the process, then I'll go write it for everybody and, and share it. You know, the yeah. fact that we hit ninth dimensional template about a year ago, I, I made the comment. No more. No more. <laughs> no. For, for my own physical reality. And I'm like, universe. Nobody less than a ninth dimension anymore in my world. Because I need those people who are coming from that place of right. pure love within themselves. I need yeah. those people if we're going to accomplish the things we came here to do. And so I'm like, no more, no more. Ninth mm. dimension only in my reality. And, and the cool part is that anchoring the ninth dimensional template in means that we now get to interact with ninth dimensional template beings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But most people don't understand we are the galactic councils here. When when we first start waking up, we're standing in front of a council. And we have to grow up. We yeah. have we have to become that's part of the embodiment process. It is we end up being the guardians. We end up being the ancients. We end up being the the you know, about a year ago I think the word was unified council of light, which was yeah. a new one for me. And, I'm, and, and it's just pure love. And, and then I right. start seeing that all of us, the Unified Council of Light and everybody walking around. And now we actually get to reconnect with each other. We're the star beings in the body who have grown up to be responsible guardians of this earth. Yeah. We, are, we are the embodied council members here to, to reconnect because we all, we're the councils, all of us. Yeah you know, in, in form, but we all have to get through our human stuff in order to fulfill these roles. Yeah. So, which is the purpose it is to move through that human stuff as fast as you can clear it out so you can fulfill your highest purposes too. Uh, I mean, they bring ease, they bring joy. I mean, these frequencies have been nothing but magnificent 24 yeah. hours a day. And the other night I posted, Oh, they're coming in really easy. People are like, you call this easy. Well, where <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well, apparently yeah. it's beating other people to death. But I went through those 
yeah. for my years. Now they're just soft and beautiful 24 hours a day in my frequency bandwidth where my body's yeah. located. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. There's no harshness. There's yeah. no roughness. There's no, it, it's just pure beauty. It's just, it, it just is. And so, but in order for each one of us to achieve this ourselves, we have to go deep inside and we have to see our own stuff and clear it out and let go of the yeah. judgment about it all. Yeah. Let go of the, it doesn't matter what somebody else is doing. And the, and the braggadocio, <laughs> you know, and, and the uh, braggadocious aspect, you know, where, you know, cause yeah. you get stuff like, like, you know, like you made me realize something today. I know when thing, I know when things activate, it, and Morgan always says it takes one to five days for the brain to catch up. But like yeah. I've had, we had experiences where we had visual materialization of star family or whatever. Mm -hmm. A couple of them went into my body, which I understood were my aspects coming into me. But what you said right. was, you don't you don't get it the day it comes in. You nope. have to embody it, right? Is what you she have said. to go through every yeah. every moment from that point forward. Is you going through clearing distortions until you are that being with every breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and, and so the, and every moment you breathe, being that aspect. And all of the ego constructs have to go. All of the lack. See, we didn't know how deeply ingrained in our body our ego was. When we hit the plasmic frequencies, then, then all the pain and the teeth and the bones start. Okay? That's a different part of the process. Because this, all of this, these light codes, they actually go into your muscles and your bones. Yeah. Okay? They go into your blood. The crystals, muscles bones and every part of your body represents a different part of the system for new earth or old. And so mm -hmm. your liver, liver, your it, kidneys, your organs, your eyes, your pineal gland, all of these body parts become an intricate system that works together cohesively once the separation inside is gone. Yeah. yeah. And so every part of the body has to be completely reworked. We need a ridiculous amount of sun. Yeah. We need a ridiculous amount of certain things. Um, foods support the light body. Foods support the crystalline, but they're going to be different all along the way. You will cut out certain things that don't support your body anymore. Milk products, go. There are certain things you don't put back in your body because they actually interfere with your light's ability to communicate. Mm. You are walking, living DNA. Your DNA is communicating with you and talking to you 24 hours a day. You'll never yeah. get bored ever again. <laughs> and, and, and but all of this intelligence is inside of you in your body. Yes. And it communicates 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And if you're really in tune and listening to your body, all the knowledge you need is right there. Yeah. And and. and that's where we have to start sharing the knowledge, sharing the information, sharing. That's a part of unity consciousness or, or we clear our abundance as we learn to share. Yeah. Abundance issues. OK. And, and so unity consciousness is each person stepping up and uniting and sharing and supporting no longer from a place of lack or need because we care. Right. And, and not because we care because, oh, poor pitiful anybody. That's all ego constructs. That's right. We care because we're that deeply connected on a soul level. Yeah. Now, the tricky part is that you can be that deeply connected on a soul level and still watch the human in front of you and see their deep asleep. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. the awareness and the understanding for what role you play here. When you become a higher self, you become everybody else's higher self too. When you, but the ego wants to get involved in their business and we don't interfere. We create opportunity. We open portals. We, we lead the way. We show the way. We're the way showers and all that kind of thing. We show, we open the portal and leave it floating and we walk away and we go on and do 12,000 other billion things. And we let them walk yeah. through and they're ready. So like plant the seeds. When you become the universe, you become everybody's universe in a way. And it's called being a universal surrogate for a while. And you're okay with being the teacher. You're okay with being the one that shares the consciousness. But eventually it will become heavy because if the other person isn't stepping into their own power, 
then, then, then your field is carrying them and your body will start to suffer for after a while. Yeah. Okay. So, so you have to learn to understand how you are able to affect reality through your consciousness. So like when I did the retreat last year, I went to the hotel. I, I, I can take my consciousness and create an energetic grid of the whole place and elevate the consciousness of the whole place. I can hold that whole place in that higher timeline while everybody is there. And the day that I finished the retreat, I collapse the entire thing because I'm holding that in place the unit that mm. Christ of consciousness. I'm holding that with my body. Mm -hmm. And so your body can only hold those levels of consciousness. Oops. We're good. Go ahead. Your body holds a ridiculous amount of light. Your body is is the conduit basically for holding the vibration of your whole field of consciousness in place and so if you're compromising and not honoring your body you can't hold that consciousness and so your yeah. body becomes number one so there's a lot of rest there's a lot of sleep for me i learned how to work from bed there are days when your your spine so when you go fully quantum everything's from your spine yeah. And so you'll activate Kundalini. You have different Kundalini awakenings for clearing distortions and all that kind of stuff. For me, my spine is my entire communication center. And so when my body is being upgraded, it's in my spine. Well, you can't sit up straight and do linear processes when your body's going quantum. So you can't sit at a desk. You yeah. can't even do physical work until the quantum work is complete and your body can function linearly again makes sense and so when makes your sense. body has integrated all that light and your field and your body have synchronized then you'll wake up and you'll have plenty of energy but this is the trick you have to focus your energy on what's important and getting those things done because the moment your light body starts tuning again your body's going to go kaput and your brain's going to go kaput too mm. and yeah. so you have to utilize your energy you have to respect your energy yeah. Yeah. And, and your energy has to accomplish. That's creator energy, source creator. You are accomplishing 24 hours a day. and But it's not from a I have to. It's from a I agreed to. It, it's a sacred place of honor. Yeah. You're honoring your, your agreements that you yeah. made before you ever came here. And you're fulfilling those highest purposes roles. And we moved out of higher consciousness into highest years ago. Yeah. So it's no longer just a little, let me, let me be a little more conscious. No, you got to go full blown wide open. Yeah. It's all or nothing. It's a, yeah. It's aligning, al alignment of all of your mission and, from your heart, you know, service. You are fully connected inside. You are your higher self. Yeah. When you are fully connected inside and there isn't one ounce of ego, you are emitting pure source light. Wow. When you are fully connected inside and you don't separate off anymore and you don't go small yeah. and you don't bring your distortions into play and you don't go unconscious, then, then your physical body is recoding itself so it can enter into a higher dimensional frequency and is dropping the density, the programming, all of that, all of the words that we use. We tie all the words together, but you have to throw out every word of being a victim. Yeah. All the I can't or I'm not good enough and it, because it's all a story. It's all a lie we told ourselves. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with that out there. That out there, okay. That out there is a solid hologram. Yeah. That hologram you walk in, that virtual reality you walk in becomes solid because you believed it into reality. Yeah. So what happens is when you start opening up the higher dimensional realms inside of you, you start having new beliefs. You have start having new desires, but they're not sexual and they're not lack and need. They that your root chakra cleanses itself, and that's where your your drive on a soul level comes from. Mm. So, so it's a pure place, and, and it'll cycle up and down the spinal column, up and down, and up and down, and up and down. And when you're ascending, you'll be floating around up here outside your head. 
Yeah. You'll have this expanded state of consciousness. And then what will happen is as we ascend and float around for a while, we disconnect from everything of the lower dimension. And as you are disconnecting from all of the lower dimensions, you are becoming your higher self. And then you descend that into your body, and which is where unification starts to occur. And yeah. while you're doing that, you're pulling your body into a higher dimensional realm. While you're in that, I've seen so many people. So, you know, we don't ground, we float and we fly on purpose. You have to dis completely connect from the lower dimensional realms if you're going to pull your body into a higher dimension. Otherwise, you're going to wait until it happens for you. And that's the rougher ride. Yeah, don't do that. Let's surrender. <laughs> surrender this is a continual surrendered state 24 hours a day your body says i'm tired you yeah. go lay down whether you sleep for three minutes or three hours all you're doing is your your pineal gland is trying to open and release light coats and you'll feel yeah Poof. yeah and then yeah, the neural I, I, pathways will have um photonic light zooming through them you will have photonic light emitting from your cells it gets weird and bizarre go ahead sorry todd yeah. No, no, I was just going to say it's just it's becoming more and more obvious. I'm glad you've talked about this, about the uh, the body, because we mm -hmm. saw this body is something that was, you know, finite. But the truth is, it's it's this it is it's it's the command center. It, it's and, the, and it, I, yeah. It, well, I love what you said about it. The voice of the body has a what has a voice. Yeah. And like, oh, the body and, talks 24 hours a day and you'll never sleep the same ever again. Either all your sleep changes. Yeah. That's, you will that's be what's happening. I know it's sleep. Yeah. You'll be working all night long. Beauty is is you're working in those dimensions, doing everything. So when you wake up, this physical reality is really easy. Yeah. So we still work in this physical reality. And, and so there's a lot of people when they first come through to Newark, they don't want to work. Star seeds don't want to work. We have all this stuff we have to clear out. Okay. The moment, you know, people got angry with me, me for years saying, We're working, we're working. We're, we're like, we don't want to hear your work. I'm like, okay, fine. They'll hit that place. They got to start working. They'll want to hear it yeah. then, you know. Yeah. And, and so, our what used to be our jobs in the physical realm changes because here we work in service with every breath. Yes. Every breath is in service. We breathe it. You breathe yeah. service to humanity because you're breathing love for humanity. Yeah. But there's a difference between dealing with a human ego and humanity. Does yes. that make sense? And, yes. and so it's easier to get up and work for the whole world than it is individuals because it takes yeah. so much energy sometimes. Thank you. You know, I, I, I say to myself, I feel I didn't, I did feel bad. I don't anymore. I'd say Sology is not a social circle. It's an energy. No. no. It's, and it's, I have people, they write in all the time. They want to talk and give them their phone number and they want to chit chat. That's not what this is. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have a, I don't have a team sitting here to, to converse all day long. Mm -hmm. We're all busy and everybody's working 12 hours. Exactly. Jobs. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're not working. Thank you. <laughs> so we work. The difference yeah. is our work is in service to humanity. So when people yeah. don't want to pay, because we can get into the money aspect of it if you mm -hmm. want to, they don't understand that's their lack. Yeah. Yeah. Their, that's their lack of appreciation. That's their lack of respect. And they're going to have to go through the same thing where they're treated with that lack of respect in order to get it. Yeah. That's, Nobody uh, will want to pay yeah. them until they get it. And then what will happen is, and that's why I wrote the article I did a couple of days ago, is because you have to reassociate what money means to you. Yeah. Because you're not paying the person. You're supporting the New Earth realities. You're supporting yeah. the projects. You're supporting the people who are yeah. busting their ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're supporting all of us. Yeah. And what yeah. happens is when you do, you are creating more to come back to support you. It's reciprocal. Yeah. Yes. And, and so, you know, I've started re I've been re-educating people for years about this. There is no lack here because yeah. everything is based upon respect and integrity and purity and because we don't function from a place of lack we don't do without anymore because yeah. we don't compromise and we share we support we share everything with everybody yeah. else and so when when each person gets to this place where they don't let things dictate yes 
when they don't let those things, when they don't let their fear or selfishness or greed dictate, this means clearing all of that program. So everybody understands the purpose of everything. Yeah. And so understanding that those, once you transcend that separation inside of you, then all of that lack goes too. You are still going to work. So everybody says, what about my job? You're still going to work. Resign yourself to the fact you're going to work in service to humanity though. You're going to work in service to Gaia. You're not going to work the way you did before. You're going to integrate light and get up and do yeah. what your soul tells you to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling that. And, and, I'm and every moment is led around. The human is led around like it's on a leash for a while. And money becomes a leash too. Because until each one of us has proven that we can come from honor and integrity and purity with everything in our lives, we don't get any more because we don't appreciate what we have. Yeah. We don't share what we have. And until we learn to appreciate, respect, and share, we don't get more. Yeah. Yeah. If you're hoarding something material, you're actually blocking. And you're the one that turned me on to this. Uh, I met you in June. You were telling me a little bit privately about how you an unfold for you. Right. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me how generosity uh, and what you're what you're describing, you're you're feeding this frequency, this, this reality. You're creating this reality by making these. And so you, I you, start. You I do started it. Doing, you have to become yeah. it for it to occur. Yeah. You're not waiting yeah. for it to happen anymore. Yes. When I started yeah. realizing that if I wanted the the things that I needed to support me, I needed to support everybody else first. And my yeah. universe was like, step up and start supporting. Step yeah. up and start sharing step up and then you call it forth everything's backwards here yeah and yeah. so so i did I, and the beauty and i tell everybody this my universe when you separate off from your universe you just talk to your universe and get your own answers back and, and then you merge back with your universe and you do what you saw and you become the universe again so so when i separate them out it's a, for a place of understanding i am my universe i don't separate off from being the universe anymore but if i need an answer my human will ask and then i'll answer myself does that make sense yeah yeah and, and so but one day i'm sitting there and i was angry because people were not supporting and we've been busting our butt for years 24 7 showing up writing energy reports every day and helping people and and one, you don't do this because you want anything. You do this because you're on a soul level. You're so driven and you love so much. You care so much that you right. want everybody to experience new earth too. Yeah. Once you start experiencing new earth, you're like, oh my God, everybody needs to experience this. And then you get on a mission <laughs> yeah. to, 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 to bring new earth forth for everybody to understand. When I started talking new earth, it, ha it was unheard of for yeah, us already I mean, being here, you know, because it was a one day thing. And, and it's, it's, New Earth is what we create. It's the reality we hold. It's the consciousness we hold and it's how we live our lives and treat each other. It's Indeed. our behavior. Right. And so when you step up and you step forth and you become that aspect, then you activate the things you need to come to you. It's not the other way around. It's not yeah. to sit around and wait for it to happen. You can, but it's <laughs> going to be a really rough ride. Mm -mm. And so, you know, at one point, it's like universe, why do I only get enough just to get by? I'm really tired of this just enough. And Todd, you're going to love this yeah. universe. And so I'm having this conversation with myself. I'm like, why? And I, I'm so tired of just getting by. I'm tired of people. They don't donate. They don't support. They don't care. They don't respect. They don't appreciate. So I'm going through this whole, you get pissed off at humanity every time you're <laughs> about to shift. Okay. Every time you get pissed off at humanity, you're about to shift. It, it, it's, it's a part of the process as well. And you're going to love humanity more once you do, but you got to clear all that, all of that being pissed off at humanity but, so that you can clear it so that you can love humanity more. So it's a part of the process that goes on for years. And the words were, because it's all you keep asking for is just enough to get by. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and it's like, yeah. Now the tricky part was, it's like, just ask for more, but yeah. here's the key. When you ask for more, you have to share more. You give more, yeah. And so then in the beginning, I had to work for free so that I could learn to appreciate everything I had. 
Right. And then when I started understanding how um, selfish and greedy and, and disrespectful the human aspect was, it's like now you don't have to work for free anymore. You had to be willing to. Now you're yes. charging because you have to support the work you're doing and nobody else is going to support you for a while. You got to do it yourself. Yes. And, and so, you know, I did that for a while. But then when I hit that place, it's like, OK, I had to give 100 percent away every time so that I could get more. But I could only right. give it to those things that were aligned on a soul level, not because I was trying to save anyone or fix anybody else's world. You know, I would go out and sit with the homeless all day and I would feed the homeless and take them to the hospital or, you know, I would I would do events and pay for everything. And I started using money to create realities and activate realities and, yeah. and, and bring more forth here for everybody. And I started sharing everything that I had. Yeah. And then it was now you can ask for more, but now half of everything you get goes out the door to support the other way showers, to support the other people doing this too. We support each other. Yeah. And so at that point, it was half of everything you get goes back out the door. Yeah. Then I moved into another phase because each phase has different rules, if you will, cosmic rules. Yeah. And then it was now you've supported everybody else. You don't have to do that anymore because you're willing to, because you're basically reversing everything. Yeah. You're clearing everything when you do. Then it was now, you know, I was going to move to this home and everybody that came that felt aligned, I was to provide a place and a space and I was to, to teach and they were my soul family. So I would bring people up in here and I would do that. And then it's like, okay, you don't have to do that anymore. You've completed those initiation. Pro I was in God consciousness at that point. And God consciousness is the provider. OK, you become the provider, you become the supporter, whereas being energy is being supported. You have to step into being the supporter and, and maintain that balance, too. And it's everything in your life is that way. And so once I completed those initiation processes, then it's like, OK, you're done. You don't have to support people anymore. Now, all the money you get goes towards the programs, the projects, paying the teams and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And, you know. And I did that for a while. And then I could see how people didn't want to do the work. And it's yeah. like, okay, so so you move out of that process. So do you see how we go through all these different processes? Yeah, yeah. No, I can relate to a lot of this. <laughs> I'm That's not saying I'm saying gonna... it. Yeah. <laughs> Believe I'm me. saying it. You don't know how many people, they want the money. They want the easy yeah. realities, but they don't want to do yeah. anything. For it. They're like, oh, I have to actually do something? Yeah, yeah, sure yeah. do. And because they don't understand how important their roles are here. Yeah. We all have huge roles here to fulfill. And it takes all of us working together and sharing and supporting each other. You know, we're not here to take up the slack for each other's lack of power. We're here to take up the exactly. slack so that everybody can have it easier. Does that make sense? Exactly. Yeah. And so I make your reality easier. You make my reality easier. We make everybody else's reality easier. Then everybody has a lot easier reality. But we use our gifts, our energy. We use our knowledge. We use, we use things that aren't tangible to the human that they don't understand is important. Exactly. And human aspect, ego aspects don't understand that higher consciousness knowledge is what saves humanity. Each person becoming their higher self is how humanity transitions out of old earth into new completely. And so the knowledge and the information we share is eons and years above a lot of humans, because until they get to that vibration, it's not going to make any sense to them. Right. So we're sharing, right. you know, when, when I first came into embodying my higher self, the words are, you're no longer from this time. You're now from the future. And nobody's going to understand a word you say. And it was several years. I looked like the crazy lady, <laughs> but you have to get okay with that because you understand how important this is. So when we're bringing through quantum information that it applies to this now, it means it applies to this now. That's yeah, right. You know, and, and the beauty about quantum is that it always applies. It doesn't matter if I wrote it five years ago or today, they're all still because they're vibrational. Yes. They're built on sacred geometrics. They're built on, you know, we get into quantum physics and, and, and equations and all this kind of stuff. That's our whole new reality. That's how we function. Yeah. Everything is quantum here. There, there's no linear anything yeah. at all. The ego was linear. So once you transcend your ego, all that linear stuff starts to go. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 getting some of that on the linear, and it's it's uh it's not it's not easy, but it's not difficult. I can't explain it. You're saying that you have to experience it or embody it. You know, you have yep. to you have to do it or be it. Well, the like the example I gave you with the with the yeah. uh, generosity, you know, I I actually because when I would when I do it, whenever I do it, it it, it comes in, uh-huh. and, and it's a frequency, and I'm in, I, I consciously am saying to myself effortlessly, this is what I'm doing. I'm creating this reality, and it works. It just doesn't yeah. look like the three D. Right. It doesn't it doesn't like oh you're gonna have this much money in the bank. No, you're just it's just a daily thing. <laughs> well, yeah. and and the thing about it is, is, is okay. So the the easiest way for me to explain this is that we have twelve dimensional human aspects that we have to master, and each twelve has a different job. Uh. So on a human level, we'll get up and go, oh, I mastered that. Well, now you're going to master something else. And so every time that I would do so, like that's why I do so many different jobs is because they're all my 12 different dimensional aspects. And I maintain all of those jobs, publishing the books, teaching the courses, you know, whatever the case may be. I was doing energy for you. And, and the thing about it is, is all of those things are going to support you. You're no longer dependent on one thing. Like the human says, I need one job to pay my bills. No, you're going to do 12 right. jobs. Right. Those 12. And so what will happen is as you, I'm trying to explain this as easy as I can. No, no, as, this is, this is good. As we come together, then somebody else becomes a vibrational match. They're an aspect of ourselves and they pick up that job. And then, then while they're doing that job, you can do something else. I'm trying to do this through geometrics right now. No, okay. I got this. This is good. Okay. Then, then, then everything you have supports both of you. And then somebody else will come in and everybody's contributing. And then what you have supports the three of you. And so what happens is you combine your resources, you combine your energy, you combine your things. But what you have is when you have a human ego aspect, they're showing up for what they can get out of it. Yes. Here you you show up, (laughs) you have something to offer. Some people have money and that's what they're offering, but they're getting something in exchange but it's vibrational and what they're getting is the joy what they're getting is the fulfillment on a soul level because that fulfillment on a soul level is what drives us that's your worthiness your worth is how you show up in the world your worth and your worth to humanity is where your abundance comes from that's the easiest way that i can say it yes that's right and 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 so while we're working through all these worthiness issues programs all of these years you're transcending your judgments about money you're transcending your own issues issues being a program your own programs about the purpose of money you're transcending your own programs about how to share you're transcending the competition. You're transcending all of the duality inside of yourself so that everybody can unite and come together and work together yeah. and everybody receives. But if until you've done it yourself, you don't know how to do that. Yeah. Which is why we have to do it by ourselves for a while. Yeah. Is because we have to reach that place inside of us that yeah. we don't yeah. separate off and go selfish yeah. if money comes into the picture. We don't separate off and go selfish if we get something. We don't separate off and go selfish anymore. And so if we do, then then we're not given, if you will, we haven't achieved the vibrational frequency for infinite abundance to occur because infinite abundance is is because we are so abundant inside, we're willing to share everything. We share 24 hours a day. Now, the tricky part is if you bring somebody in in needy or greedy mode, you're not allowed to share with them. Mm. This is where your divine masculine comes in because or God consciousness, too, is you recognize the energy and you realize you're not assisting them in any way. You're not really helping them. The way you help them is you help them evolve their consciousness. Like you said, if you do, you're taking on that. It's your lack. It's not theirs. And so what happens is you start learning what's appropriate in every exchange. You start learning that with this person, I can't give them money because they go unconscious when I do. Yeah. 
with this because then what happens is they just show up when they want more money again you're yeah. creating that cyclical cycle that just goes round and round it's, it's karmic and stuff at uh, timelines whereas you know if you create an opportunity and say you can get paid if you want to work in service for humanity you can get paid if you want to do this well if they can't come through then they're not really interested that's right i can't do it for you that isn't that what you said at the top of the show that's what we're being told right no one's going to right. do it for you i mean I, nope. know, I know that sounds very basic but that's it getting very crazy. loud right now it, it is and what happens is okay so when we were human little egos todd it used to be what everybody was doing now what's going to start happening for you guys now it's what they're not doing mm. you're not stepping up you're not coming through you're not sharing you're not open it flips everything flips so when we were human we kept looking for everybody else to be honest and be truth right then once you become a higher self you can see everything yeah. and so what happens is the very first time you meet people you'll meet the higher selves but then after that you'll start seeing the human ego programming it's yeah. backwards once you ascend then after a while you can see everything simultaneously but in the beginning it's confusing because you'll connect on a soul level because you've been able to connect with yourself yeah. on a soul level yeah yeah so that first meeting a lot of the times you can connect on a soul level but then their walls go back up or your walls go back up or your programming comes back in or their programming comes back in and yeah. so a huge part of this process is those walls got to come down and they got to stay gone yeah they can't come back in those human programs can't be brought back in anymore you can't play in the old ego games anymore the conscious mm -hmm. thing is to say no it's not tolerable or acceptable yeah, yeah. and one thing i started doing was so that everybody understood in my reality what i was look at the person and tell them unconscious you is not welcome here conscious you is always welcome and I would make them, you make people accountable for their actions. You make people accountable for their actions. You, you hold them, not that you're imposing on them from a place of this is what's acceptable if you're going to have a reality together. Because you don't have to have a reality together. You can connect on a soul level and the person can go off for years. And the beauty is we don't exist in time. So you won't even know they've been gone for years. You, you, you have no clue. You forget about them. They're gone. Yeah. then when it's time for them to come back into your reality that vibration will activate and you can you'll know they're coming back around and when they yeah. show up check and see which aspect you have and then you decide whether there's a reality or not yeah. and yeah. if they're still very unconscious if their heart is not open if it's the um when you get into the human ego it's very predictable because it only shows up when it wants certain things so then you start seeing well they're in user mode or they're in manipulation yeah. mode and you can see all these things and you just the, yeah. the only thing is it's not a judgment you just don't desire the experience anymore yeah yeah it's not fun it's not productive it's like, it's like, yeah it's like you said earlier when you said that you made the statement what was it i will not have anyone but a ninth dimensional uh, frequency. A few years, yeah. yeah, because I started yeah. understanding anything less was still too human because the human programming was still too strong. And, and so I'm like, yeah. you know what? You bring, universe, bring in people that their heart, because ninth dimension is your heart is open, Arcturian. And then you get into, you know, 10th, 11, 12, 13. You can be, you know, 13th for me is Christ of consciousness, 15th is God consciousness. And I've been functioning from these level of consciousness for years. The only yeah, thing yeah. is that having others who function at the same level of consciousness, you, you basically have to um, bring them into your consciousness and they have to be exposed to your field. And you basically have to bring them into that consciousness too which is what Eve and I have been doing for the last year and a half as she comes in, I bring her into this consciousness. I teach her, I share everything with her. She goes back, she clears the program, she shows back up and we've been building relationship, yeah, yeah. building and, and, and you're, you're basically grooming the others so that you all can function at the same vibrational freak. It takes a huge investment on our part to be in each other's realities. Yeah. Every person's got to be fully invested with everything they are and everything they have too. 
because you move out of twin relationships where you're there to trigger each other's stuff into to divine soul union and partnership so that every person comes in is a partner in this relationship, a partner right, right. in every capacity. And, yeah. and we're partners. We're all equal. Everybody has the same capabilities. Everybody can contribute. Everybody can share. But everybody's got to show up and be willing to. Otherwise, you have to go apart again. And for a while, it's going to be show up, go apart, show up, go apart. It's, it's like this a whole lot. And it's like a revolving door for a lot too. And you'll notice that there are times that you're supposed to have a short exchange because we exchange light codes when we come together. It's beautiful. You activate light codes when you come together. And, and, and there are purposes and there are certain relationships that you can see long advance, you know, before everything comes, you've called it forth. You're never surprised when anything happens anymore. In the beginning, you are like, oh, this is magic. Well, we love magic. We live in magical realities 24 hours a day. But we're never surprised when something happens here because we've been working for it all these years. We've been waiting for it to show up. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not surprised. It is the materialization in physical form for everything that we've transmitted out. And you have to yeah. hold that vibration long enough for that physical reality to take form. You have to create that physical reality yourself from your highest vibrational consciousness. And you have to hold that state of consciousness for the physical to take physical matter form. So if you go unconscious, you disconnect from the ability for that to occur and you stay in that dimension until you've cleared that program and become conscious and then you vibrate back into that reality where that exists. Does this make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah it makes sense. And I love what you said about having the 12 aspects of a human. Because my 12 aspects, they all do different jobs. One builds my website, one yeah, cleans the house, yeah, yeah. the other one does the energy sessions, the other one does sessions, the other one teaches. I mean, yeah. and, and they wonder why we're so busy. Yeah. It's, and what will happen is as you embody these 12 aspects and move in the crisis consciousness and God consciousness and all these different levels of consciousness, then other people will come in and you check and see if they can fulfill that, that role in, in, yeah. in your bigger picture. Because then we move into galactic which goes into a very different place. You become the nexus point. And then what will happen is when people come together, you move out of being the center of attention and it becomes the, the purpose and humanity becomes the nexus point. Okay. And then everybody steps off from being the center of attention and the one who's responsible for everything and, and, and your sole purpose becomes the nexus point of the galaxy and each person is a galactic is, is their own galaxy that revolves around their own planet does this make sense <laughs> absolutely it does i'm just so writing what, a couple of notes uh, and i don't write too many notes. <laughs> what, what happens is that for a while you're going to be the universe and you're going to work your ass off and you're going to get your new reality set up as a universal being as you maintain universal consciousness, as your body goes through the physical stuff and all the neural pathways open up and all the ancient centers uh, and the knowledge comes forth. And so it's a very physical and physiological process we go through here, okay? And then what will happen is once you become the whole universe and you've been the universe for a while and you've established yourself and proven yourself on a human level, that you can come from on honor and integrity, that you can be trusted. Because most people don't understand you're, you're establishing a level of trust mm -hmm. and respect and integrity with each other. And so once you've established, it takes time to build these relationships and prove yourself and transcend all of that duality we had inside. Once we get to that place, then we can step out of being the only one in that universe. And each one of us are universes, so we become a multiverse. And we all walk around interdimensionally right. as the multiverse. Well, what will happen is on a galactic level, then each person that comes together represents a different aspect of the universe and plays out a different role on a universal level. I'm trying to explain yeah. it from different ways of how no, we I got understand. You. No, I got you. And, and so I'm my universe. Eve will be her universe. Her team will be their universe. And we all unite and come together and everybody takes up the slack and does a different role. And then yeah. everybody's receiving 
because we've all achieved the ability for full abundance because yeah. we've become abundant within ourselves and we've learned how to share and support and show up every day. That's right. Just bring time. your lunch, bring your lunch pal and go to work. And that's, yep. that's really, that's the, the way I, yeah. The difference is our work. Is it something that we love? So I yeah. love writing for people. I could write all day, every day. Everything I do, I love to do. The linear stuff is the hardest part because when you function from this really quantum place, doing linear work is challenging with your body. Your body won't support the linear work anymore. So the linear stuff gets to be really challenging. So like Eve comes in and she's like, I can handle that. And I'm like, oh, good. Thank you. Because I can't. And, and so I've actually had to bring people in these last few years that can do the linear stuff for me because I can't do it anymore. You can't yeah. maintain a quantum state of consciousness 24 hours a day and still function as linear as we just did. I can, but everybody's got to go away while I sit here by myself and I do it all because it takes <laughs> yeah, more time. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I do. So yeah. anyway, um, this is a very different existence that doesn't fit into what reality is on a human level. It doesn't. Exactly. The only exactly. thing is that you are is each person being their highest aspect all of the time and stepping into those roles, anchoring the ninth dimensional template in now means it's available for every person to be that aspect of them. Their ninth dimensional and above, which, which is means pure heart. pure heart. And it gets into once you, once you move into that, when I activated Arcturian energies, this, this love just flooded through me. And for three days solid, I just cried tears of just pure joy. It's the mo most profound, pure love that you've ever felt. And, it, and, and there's no words to describe. And, and, and human love can't even come close. They're, they're, yeah. they're not even in the same ballpark. But once you, once you remember, this is called remember. Once you remember the purity, once you remember how things are supposed to be. Once you remember all of this stuff, all the information comes forth and the knowledge and stuff like that too, you now have the tools and the capability to, to share and elevate the consciousness of, of, of everybody and bring everything into a higher state of consciousness too. And as each person does this in their own reality, look at the ripple effect of what yes, happens yes. for our planet, Yeah, which is why it takes everybody doing this. Yeah. You know, so the um, the importance, the tricky part is in the beginning, we don't think that we're important and we don't care about ourselves and we don't love ourselves, not on the level that we need to. Yeah. And then we come to love and respect ourselves and, and we don't care about anybody else. We let everybody else go. And then it's time. OK, now everybody, you know, everybody's important. Everybody's special. Nobody's more special than the other. Everybody's equal here. The only difference is, is how unconscious or conscious somebody is and how easy it is to bring something into consciousness and how much resistance there is. Right. The more ego, the more resistance. And what we started to understand was don't worry about it. Put the information out there, create the opportunity, flood the whole earth with the knowledge and just keep going. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah. Everybody, will, will, they'll connect with the information. For my work, it took people years. A lot of times, you know, people, I still have people go, I've been reading your stuff for years. I'm just now starting. It makes total sense to me. That's because they had to acclimate to that vibration within themselves so they could understand me, which is a soul level. When I yes, write, yes. I write on a soul level. I write on a galactic level. When I write and I share, I share from that expanded place yeah, because yeah. that's where I live. I don't ever contract back down or disconnect. If yeah. I'm due, like every new moon, you're going to be more human. <laughs> you're not going to have as much light. <laughs> yep. Every new moon, you're going to be more human. There's more human programming. All of your old programs and stuff, people will start to show up. All the users, manipulators, they'll all show back up again. Um, that's because you have to exist on your own light. And yeah. if you don't have your own light, when you hit the new moon, that's where the void space hits. We enter into a template clearing that goes on for days after that. There's massive anchoring. That's when all the solar flares occur, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and those knock the body down so the DNA can accelerate reprogramming and, and, and recoding and all of this. 
And, and so as we go through this, you'll become more human because you're about to go through a void space. Well, our voids last for two seconds. They're like, oh, blip, done. But the human void can last for years. Yeah. Because there's, it, it, the void space is like a black hole. It's what sucks the energy and stuff. Well, once you fill that black hole, if you will, with your own light, then, then, then there's no black hole anymore. Does this make sense? Yes. And, and so when you hit the new moon, right. When you hit the new moon, you're functioning on a human body again. Your light body depletes. So mm. you don't have any energy for other people. So, yeah. so we have to pull away more. Um, now the gateways are 24 hours a day. Now the everything is always happening at an accelerated rate, at an increase um, the cosmic frequencies. Every planet is inside your body. So Mars coming in. That's going to be really interesting. What was that, Mars? Mars. <laughs> yeah, he mm -hmm. followed me around for like four days this week. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Well, <laughs> Mar Mars has many purposes, but Mars is the ruler of, I'm going to get into a, a lot of stuff here, but Mars, if you look at what Mars dictates, in, in the old days, Mars represented our separation, um, Atlantean, strong Atlantean distortions and stuff like that um, were, were relative to the Mars energy. And so when you get into some of these, um, if you have any separation inside of you, you're going to go through that. For those of us who function as energy, your yeah. energy body, when you function as energy, then Mars is beautiful. Yeah. You know, and, and so, but Mars is going to take people into the root chakra. That's what happened to me. It, it, I, I went out four days out of five and I walk out and I'm in perfect alignment with it. And yeah. I heard, I heard, I felt it in my root. And then I heard it tell me, and it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad thing. It just said, it's I'm not. here. Yeah. I'm here. We're going to clear some stuff out. And I'll be around for a while. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah, no, well, and this is the beauty is that Mars energy, the reason we were excited about Mars is Mars, if I'm not mistaken, I might have, I don't do all of that stuff. I do it from my own scene. Yeah. I don't look yeah. and think. Yeah. But if I'm not mistaken, Mars um, has to do with ruling energy. So notice okay. what, what, what you just said that you're going through. It, it's a, on an energetic level, it, it's going to be a massive root chakra clearing, yeah. which is yeah. where um our biggest form of separation emanated from but it was located yeah. in the whole body so like yeah. the organ that's why the lower half of the body represents the lower realms and the top half of the body represents the top, the higher realm and so you're going to oscillate between the lower half and the top half each time you're working in a different part of your your body and stuff for a while right. then once you your body becomes a universal body then you're going to have light zoom, zoom, zoom and up and down and all around all the time because you don't have the lower realms and the higher realms anymore. Right. Right. OK. Yeah. And then we you know, we go we have different light body phases and, and we have to go through all of them eventually. And, and the beauty with the new templates that I wrote the other day is by the time we hit the 2020 timeline, then that's all avatars. Embodied avatars. Mm. So the next couple of years are going to be accelerated to bring everybody into their own avatar consciousness. Um, for me, hitting avatar consciousness a few years ago, it was like a two-year, uh, what do you call it, initiatory yeah, yeah. phase because we have initiation and passageways that we have to go through and all. Um, and then hitting the 2222 code, which correlates to that, which is service to humanity. And yeah. so embodying that one hits the body really hard. No and way. so, oh yeah, it'll take it down. We have, um, you know, the frequency light up rates flu. We'll, we'll run through the body every time our, our bodies are being detoxed um, really strongly, which will usually correlate to a Syrian activation that's going on. Syrian, for me, I look at Syrian and Lyran, they always come together and Syrian being, you don't have masculine feminine, but they do tend to have more of a, a, a energy trait. It's so a Syrian tends to have more of a masculine energy where Lyran is a feminine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes and, sense. And, and so like this morning we got up and it's it's Syrian first and then the Lyran energy comes through right behind it, which is the lion's gate. But they're always together for me. Yeah, yeah. And, and so it's, like so, the, it's like they're kicking the butt and then the hug. Uh-huh. 
It's pretty much. Yes. And, and so, you know, this is, this is going to be really powerful because of the avatar codes that came through a couple of days ago are now everybody who's ready to, to embody all of these higher self aspects and ready to fulfill these higher roles. It's now available on a collective level. So the ninth dimensional template, I'm going to say this and, and nobody cares. Okay. But I have to do it to give as an example mm -hmm. for me years ago, embodying the ninth dimension, I had to carry it for years along with all these other dimensions until the collective Gaia, completed the process for it to become a collective thing does this make sense yes and so that's why i wrote the piece about we don't wait we can embody the ninth dimension within us we don't have to wait for the collective what this means is now collectives are now going to receive those avatar codes as they're ready and that was the 2222 right? the 2222 is just one of them but yeah, yeah, the two yeah. two that two, was, two that was, that was, Yeah, that was huge two, three days ago. And with, you know, I kept it, seeing it, it everywhere. It'll knock you on your ass. It took me down. Um, when I went through the two, 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 two code for the very first time, it started on January 1st. The words were go back to bed. You're, you're going to integrate. Well, I didn't know that meant for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked yeah. on my ass is an understatement because my body had to fully integrate the 2222 code which is a whole reworking of the entire nervous system and immune system mm. it's huge every light body has a different nervous system so we go through all of this reworking of our body in order to embody these higher self aspects and merge them all as one. So like, unless I have somebody come into my reality that is like really full blown ego, I don't have to shift into any one of my aspects individually right, right. anymore. I can be Syrian, Arcturian, Andromedan, Lyran all simultaneously at the same time and emit and transmit all these codes just through my presence and my essence and, and go about my day. If I have somebody come into my reality that's like really full blown ego, that's like really stepping over the line, then I got to yeah. pull my theory and outer God consciousness and I got to get bigger and I got to break it down. Yeah. yeah. And, and so I can pull it out if I need to pull it out, but it's always from love. Yeah. And, yeah. and so they will always be told, I love you, but this is not acceptable. I love yeah. you, but no, I love you. And you'll send them off to go figure things out. You'll send them off like children. Go figure yeah, it out yeah. yourself. Go work through it yourself. Go pitch a ten, you know, temper tantrum somewhere yeah, else yeah. yourself. You will invest your time and energy in those who are as invested as you are. Yeah, yeah. And that's where your new relationships come from, is those who are fully invested and who truly do care too. And you have, this is the thing, we don't all have the same common purposes. So, so like yes. some people are like, I have to be out on the earth every day. For me, yeah. I'm in here doing computer work and, I, and I'm happy inside where somebody else is yeah. like, I don't want to be inside all day long. So, yeah. so yeah. how we come together matters too, because our roles are very different and, and they have to be compatible and cohesive, if that makes sense. Yes. So if you get yeah. like a whole group of people and their job is to go out and, and, and work on the earth, then it's going to be very different than another group of people. Our goal is for all of us to unite, to all be doing those things, while some people will be doing that physical part. Yeah. We're going to be doing the other physical parts. Everybody does a different physical part. Yeah, that yeah. That's, a, that's, yeah that's an important that's distinction important. because I think what a, some of what we were seeing is, hey, I've got this idea. Hey, i got this idea. We're supposed to do this. We're supposed to do that. Come do this. Come do that. And you're right. Everybody's finding their own yeah. uh, unique uh, part of it. Well, and, and we, to be able to coexist in the same space and really care about each other and everybody mm, on a soul level, if each person is truly connected on a soul level, then everybody can work together. Everybody can come together. But, yes. but if that person hasn't come to that place inside of themselves to function from that depth of their own soul, then there's also still going to be a lot of programming going on. 
yeah. And that programming is what screams loud. Those distortions are loud and they're intolerable. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah they're, they're getting really louder and louder. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why that's I, I'm just going to keep surrendering. Okay. So here's what um, photonic light does. Photonic light shows you where duality and, and polarity exist. Okay. Photonic light exacerbates distortions because it increases communication through the electromagnetic field. Okay. Photonic light allows you to close your eyes or go to sleep and travel through your consciousness to all the other dimensions easier so that you can clear old timelines. So the heavy duty sleeps are clearing old timelines. Okay, so we don't remember anything. That's because we're clear and clear and clear and clear and clear. And so when I go to bed every night, it's like clear, clear, clear. Activate new realities. Okay, universe. I'm always in gratitude and appreciation. I'm always in that highest place. I don't ever take anything for granted. I don't yeah. ever go unconscious or forget anything. And I always share. But I also am always observing the programming because you're observing and you're checking to see what's in the way. And if, yeah. if anybody's in their ego, it's going to be in the way. Does that make sense? Yeah. And another thing that that's come out too, and I, I bet other people are experiencing is uh -huh. I'm starting, I'm, it's like self care. I'm oh. starting to really take care of myself. And that's your light if, body if, kicking in, by the yeah, way. And, and if I want to go next door and get a bite to eat, I say to myself, you know, Hey, you can spend an extra five or ten dollars and get something that you want you know i mean get, you know, yeah. treat yourself i mean you it, who what's what's a better way to, to serve yourself but give well, gratitude to yourself well you have to treat yourself because it helps keep your vibration high too because what will happen is we all do the inner work so much we we all dedicate our energy so much each day that you have to treat yourself all along the way yeah and so you, you become like it yes you, you, you have to learn to treat yourself. You have to learn how to give yourself some time off, take a break. You have to step back. You have to pace yourself because of how much we do constantly pace, constantly pull away, constantly integrate, constantly. But, but we, we function from a, the slower you go, the more expanded your consciousness is. Yeah. The yeah. deeper I, inside you go. And so for, yeah, you know, we have this exactly. joke that if I want to get up and go anywhere, I got to start three hours early because I'm the slowest person on it. Because I'm in, you walk in this meditative energy flow. Mm -hmm. Now, if I need to speed my body up, I can speed my body up without speeding time up. Yeah. You can move your body through space and still bring time to a halt. You can yeah. do all these cool things where time, when your brain speeds up on a human level, time speeds up. That's why everybody's got to get out of their head and move to their heart. Because when you come to your heart space, then you move to universal time, which coincides with Gaia and the universe. And time, right. is, time ceases to exist and you're one with everything. And so time, you move through time. Right, right. At, at a different speed and pace. It's very of, different yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Instead of time moving through you. Right. <laughs> it, it moves from inside of you. So that's why the gamma is so important. Is because what it does is gamma will obliterate the old programs. Gamma yeah. will stimulate your light, your, your physical body to clear all the distortions out. Gamma will... will activate your light so that you can produce, 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 do, 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 do. But what you'll find is that when you run out of light, your body will go kaput right then. And, and, and so we literally do run on light. So when I do my events, I can go for 10, 12, 15, 18, 20 hours without missing a beat. Once I hit about the 20 hour mark, my body says, okay, you're about done because I, I've, I've, I've used all my light. Yeah. And then you go to bed to regenerate and build light again. And so when we sleep, we're not sleeping. We our light bodies are regenerating. Yeah. And our yeah. human bodies are integrating so that they fuse become the same thing. If you deplete all your light, 
then then your body you revert back to a human body and that's where all the lack stuff comes back in yeah yeah so it's all tied together it's all yes it is and yeah. so the the that's this funny. is where your light becomes your value though your light is what is going to support you your light is going to pay for your realities yeah I'm, I'm putting this in very basic human terms, yeah okay yeah. Your light is your value. So if you don't value your light, then you don't value you. You don't value the light of each other. You don't value the energy of each other, light, energy, soul. And so you will be taught to respect your light. You will be taught on a human level. We all get taught to respect each person's energy, respect the time. See, for us, time is energy. Yeah, yeah. Time, energy, money, all the same thing. Abundance, yeah. all the same thing. If I waste my time, I'm wasting my energy, which means I'm wasting my abundance. I'm wasting all these things. So you learn not to waste your time. You focus your energy. You focus your consciousness. You focus your breath. And you put yeah. it into the things that are going to bring the things to support you and everybody else is going to be in your reality supporting too. Each person moved to service to humanity after they've come to love and respect themselves fully yeah, yeah. Yeah, after is, or as yeah. you come first for a while you have to let the whole outside world go and you have to quit caring about what everybody else thinks or what they're doing because yeah. it's not your business that's right what your business is is what you're doing you clean your own yard up you, right. clean you, your handle own your <laughs> you handle your shift and I'll, I'll sweep my shift up. <laughs> but uh, totally. the other thing I noticed too, because I love what you said about the body's voice. I really had the telepathic communication with your body is what I yeah. used to and, call it. But and then the other thing I'm finding too is my ability to instruct my body. Like, yep. you know, it goes like, it goes like that. I'm, well, you're going to love one even more than that. You can actually activate all new realities just by claiming them and calling them forth here. And then you get up each day and you do what's fully aligned and it pulls the reality to you. Yeah. You don't seek anything ever again. You get up from this yeah. deep and deeply connected place and you do whatever is fully aligned that you saw while you were laying in the bed and couldn't do anything, you're going to be seeing all the other realities. Bravo. Yeah. You write them down, pen and paper, write them up. You won't be able to remember them. When you get up the next day, you're going to go, Oh crap. I can't remember anything. Mm -hmm. Write it all down. And when you get up the next day, that's your list from your higher self for your human to get up and get busy. Yeah. And, and what yeah. I started doing was I would write it all down because I couldn't retain the vibration at the time. Now I can. I can do 12 billion things simultaneously and I don't forget because it's all mine. It's inside. It's, it's you know, I write notes to myself. I have papers everywhere. I can just go pick up a piece of paper. I'm constantly, you are constantly in creator mode. Create, create, create. Yeah. create. It never stops. Yeah. You will be so creative. You will be completely abundant too, because all the things you're creating are supporting you and everybody else. That's a part of that too. Yeah. Which that's is true. right. Yeah, that's exactly there's, right. There's no more coddling. There's no yeah. more making exceptions. There's no more. Will you do this for me? Special attention is like, no, mm -hmm. when you move nope. into working for the mass consciousness, then you're doing for everybody. Now it's their responsibility to go figure it out. Now it's their responsibility to choose. Now it's their, if they don't want to, fine. You don't really care. You're focused on what you're here to accomplish, be and do, because you're going to receive based upon what you're transmitting out. That's right. That's right. And each person has the capability too. What they don't understand is that their ego will always be challenged. That's what the light is. The ego will always be challenged to figure it out. The ego will always be challenged to step up more. The ego will always, and as you realize this, you just get up and, and you push yourself because you don't want to be pushed anymore. A timeline collapse will push you yeah. on an ego level. Yeah. Your whole reality will collapse if you're not careful, yeah. which is why we have to manage so many realities through consciousness is because we're keeping all these different realities going simultaneously and you can't let anything get out of whack. Does that make sense? Cause yeah. they're all vibrational. Yeah, that's right. And, hard, um, hard. Go ahead. Yeah. 
I was gonna, no, I was just going to say heart pays in hearts. Yeah. Well, and the beauty is all the energy we use to put into the old unconscious stuff, you turn around and focus and you focus it on consciousness. Yeah. You focus it on creating. You focus yeah. it on showing up. You focus it on, on sharing your gifts and you call for all of the others who care too. You call for all of the others who are just as invested too. You call for all of the others and you just keep saying, okay, universe, bring me this, bring me that. And on a human level, you just keep saying, bring me this, bring me that. And then you get up each day. But what will happen is the human aspect doesn't say, bring me this. It wishes. Yeah. yeah. No, that and you'll be there forever. Yeah. It, I don't know what the word, what is the word for it? It's not a demand. And it's not a command. It seems to be like something. It right is a command. It's, it's a, a command, command as your higher yeah. self. It's yeah. a command where you're basically, yeah. you're, you call them forth. In yeah. order, basically what you're doing is you're speaking through light codes and you're activating in that other dimension, if you will, I'm going to break this down this way, where those right. realities have already occurred. Those of us, as your body, as you go inside and you gain telepathic and pineal access to everything again, you get to see all the other dimensions that have already occurred and you just get up and go do them. Yeah. yeah. So easy. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't see if you can't allow yourself to dream if your body's vibration is too low if you're functioning from your root chakra and survival mode and blame mode and all those things you can't see which what will happen is that you we stay in those realities until all that energy is gone well you have a choice you either work through it yourself or you're going to stay there until that you break yeah yeah and, and so we learned a long time ago we each one of us have the capability to step up every day and say, okay, I'm ready. Let's yeah. do this universe. And you take your universe by your hand and you say, come on. And on a, on a human level, you become one with your universe by listening to your universe and letting it run the show. Yeah. yeah. And you just call forth the realities. You see them and go, okay, bring me this one, bring me that one. And for me, I don't even care. I'm like, universe, just bring me the next awesome reality. Bring me the magic, bring me this, bring me. And it's like my 24 hours a day. And it does. Beautiful. Beautiful. But not the way you think it's going to. It brings people. It brings opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. But you have you. This is where we have to learn to be able to pay attention to the vibration. Because the moment you settle for less, you close the yeah. door on more. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's right. Does that help? That's, that's, no, I love it, man. I love talking to you. We've been talking. For, we've been talking for three hours and sixteen minutes. <laughs> It's not hard yeah. to do, is it? No. We, we, yeah. This yeah. is awesome. We, I want to say happy Lionsgate to everybody, you guys. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, I, and I, I don't know if everybody was here, but uh, we didn't talk beforehand, so we actually mm -hmm. just went right into it. But yeah. uh, are, you, are you working on anything? Are you coming out with anything? You mentioned something about a, about a class you were teaching. Yeah, you do, don't you? I do that. I don't ever stop. We have so much that we are doing. And, and what we do is that, you know, yeah, I have a new email series coming out about transitions to new earth and, it, and it's helping people. I'm using my own journey and going through parts I haven't ever shared, really. But I'm oh, using wow. it as the example. And, and, and I walk people through on a quantum level, we go through all these different things and weave through them. And it's a weekly series that I'm, I've been trying to get it out for two weeks. I'm a little bit behind, but you don't get behind. You just do it when it's ready. So, so this is from subscribing and then you email it out. It, it, it's an automated list that I'm, I'm writing all of the pieces now and putting them up. And so when somebody signs up, once I make the sign up available, which I, I was going to launch today, but I need another week. So it'll probably yeah. be next week. But it's um, it, it 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 explains how all this works in a different way, and so it brings people through with me, and and, and you feel like you're there with me, which is kind of cool. But it's about transitioning from old earth to new, which can't be done in one email. So it's probably going to run for months. Oh really? Week. Yeah. So it's a lot. It, it's a lot on our part to produce and do all these things. So it's quite an undertaking. So right now, um, as soon as it's available. We've got fundraisers we're going to be doing where we're raising the funding for all of the huge projects that we're accomplishing and stuff like that, you know. Um, Very cool. So, Very you cool. know, there's, there, there's tons 
there's classes. I'm always teaching classes. You know, we've got, you know, eventually one day we'll have the um, center here on the island. That's another one of the projects that's been in play for the last many years. That will be a um, huge part of assisting not only um, the island and the community, but also everybody that flies in and, and, and you know, so, so we've got tons because people don't understand that we basically have to raise all the funds for everything that we do. And so we work, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, isn't that funny? <laughs> that's kind of, that's the way it works. <laughs> the cool part is it's, it's all, it's all aligned on a soul level and it's all pure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's all new. for humanity. And so it's all supported and everything comes when we hit that vibration and we accomplish that next thing. That's why you don't sit around waiting for one day. You get up and start and then the rest yeah. stuff gets activated to come forward. Yeah. yeah. And it's so like, I yeah. always have tons. I'm writing all the time. I've got book publishing out the yin yang to do. Wow. So I'm Excellent. republishing two, three books. I got two written. I'm republishing them. I'm going through Balboa. Um, I'll do the third one. Um, meanwhile, Taiwan, and um, they're going to be translated in Chinese. Um, Eve has um, taken Excellent. care of those, and so they're going to be done over there for Asia and stuff. So we've got, you know, a lot of my work is translated in all these different languages. So it's just they're massive projects, and it takes a lot of our focus energy to accomplish them all. Yeah. But yeah. anybody can always go to my website, and I announce. Yeah. Things. They can sign up for the newsletters. They can read years of activations. Every article I write is a light encoded article in a teaching. Everything I write it, it, and I share um, on top of I have free stuff all over my site for years and everything I do. And, and then the other things that fund the projects or support the people or the things that we need to do, we charge for those because that, that has a specific purpose too. Sure. So, you know, we have classes, we're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff, always teaching, um, because the interactive stuff is where people really get it. Because yeah. we actually go in and we break the programs down. So when yeah. somebody comes in, you can see them, hear, see, feel them, and you just go straight through and break the whole thing down. Which is really cool, because the moment you break it down, they can shift that entire timeline themselves. Yeah. So, we do a lot of breaking know. programs. But yeah, everything, you name it, all of it. Whoa. I held up on retreats for a while because they're a massive undertaking. And so we'll resume those again. We're going to be focusing a lot on highest consciousness business. And, oh, and I like that. Um, I yeah, like we that. left higher a long time ago. Um, like, we're we're yeah. about evolving business from the very Jeez. highest consciousness place and then and you know all of the teachers and practitioners and, and focusing on you know so in, ad in addition to the individual stuff we've been doing then we're going to be offering the stuff you know we've been doing all this for years but but yeah. making it like a bigger production so that we can do more um so you know everything you name it well, it's all yeah your stuff yeah your stuff looks a lot different even than from like a June I mean it, it really does it's put together real well you know, which is a, cool. probably a representation of the way you've got everything set up in the first place. It's so it, it, that, that's yeah. because even them have started helping me with some of the workload. It looks and good. the workload I mean, got I, so intense yeah. that they took up some of the slack, which I, um, they're, they've become my godsend. I call them my godsend. Um, well, they're taking up a yeah. lot of the slack so that I can actually focus on some of these other things and, and you know, creating the, the artwork that goes out and the placards and the quote quotes and all that kind of stuff to allow me to write for people. I had to stop writing for a while because I was too inundated. And so now yeah. I'm trying to write. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, I, why. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm <laughs> trying to do the website for Sology now. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, but no, I get what you're saying. I'm glad you shared that about the 12 aspects and, uh, there's so many other things on here. I'm going to go back and watch this. I really well, appreciate you, you coming on. Look at the website. Look at the website. The website's going to change every day. Okay. Yeah. So make it very basic and simple. All you need is the main landing page. And look at the website. Get you the, the easiest drag and drop. I use Weebly. It's drag and drop. It's creative. I can put my Oh, drag and drop. There. Okay. Yeah, and, and so the reason I say this is the higher you go in consciousness, the less linear you're going to be. You want something simple? Yeah. 
that you can maintain and that you can update every day. Mm. And so like I'm in my website every day making changes and updating, but the website is a create part of source creator energy. And, yeah. and so what will happen is the, the website, when you can't do anything and you're in the bed, the website yeah. is where you go because you can lay in the bed and dream up the pictures you want to write or you yeah. when you can't function linearly. Believe it or not, you think about a website and think of linear. But if you look at the website as a place for you to play and create and reach yeah. people, yeah. Yeah. it'll become fun. And it'll be easy because you'll actually enjoy the website. I love doing my website. Well, you just cleared something for me. <laughs> That's why we're yeah. doing that. It just went from like this big mountain to this little fun little block. Like That's a little why I play did blocks. That. <laughs> Your website is a way for you to reach people and to make a difference yeah. in their life. And, and and you, if you start a blog, which rename it whatever you want. I don't like the word blog, but start something where you write for people where from that caring place you write from people and share for them because something that will matter and, and believe it or not it's going to be the things that you think are not important other people want to hear the things you want to say nobody cares about for a while it's all backwards yeah, yeah. and so the website itself is a place to play and create and get some cool pictures and write the things and put some color in it and it can be a lot of and you'll end up actually really enjoying it and you'll look up and have a website done and you'll be amazed there was nothing to it yeah so well, the funny thing is i put i probably put four or five together years ago years ago in my old life but well, I, I, I was, it's just sat here and I'm like, well, what do I, <laughs> I got it to a certain point. I'm like, what do I do? Let me ask you this. Pick is, the simplest platform. Uh, Your ego will complicate everything. Always go for simple. Okay. Pick the simplest yeah. platform. The one that a dummy could figure out. Yeah. Don't That'd try to go complicated. <laughs> well, and, and, and okay. So now let me say this. I know you're going to ask me a question, but let me say this really quick. When we, our genius is like a small child. Okay. We don't have the linear construct. So while I might be able to, to, to share all this genius information, I am a child that functions from a very pure, simple place. Nothing's complicated in my world. Right. right. Because my ego doesn't come into play. Your ego is going to complicate everything. So bring it back to simple. Your heart is very simple. What's the purpose of the site to reach people? Then that's all you care about. You don't care about any of this other stuff. Make it really easy. Right, right. And, and, and you'll be surprised. Yep. Yeah. Make it simple. Though the moment it gets complicated, your head has come into play. Yeah, it makes total okay. sense. That's that's what it's been. <laughs> it's like well, I got to do this. I got to make this Taj Mahal thing, right? No, um, it will it will evolve as you do. I have three yeah. websites still. And my two from earlier years and every time, well, actually now I have four, but, mm. but I've had many websites over the year. They will evolve as you do. You'll wake up one day and be told, go get a new domain. I have yeah. like 20 domains. I, 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 you just buy them and buy them and buy them and you grow into them. You don't know why you're doing it in that moment. It might be months or a year. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to do things that you get shown on a human level to do that you haven't embodied that, that, that intelligence that higher intelligence yet yeah, and so it yeah. takes a while before that thing will come into fruition and just so you know it takes an average of two years for certain projects to culminate and come forth so if well, you're sitting good. around waiting for one day start now because <laughs> it'll take two years for a lot of these things to, to create a return now because um, we're in such high frequencies, they don't take as long, but understanding that certain projects won't, won't come into fruition. They have a gestation period, just like yeah. birth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes so sense. Just, makes just sharing sense. that with you. So all the people sitting around waiting for the one day, it'll get started when you get started. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, sweetheart. What were you fixing to ask? No, I'm good. No, no, no. I was just going to say to you, uh, if we didn't get a chance to talk. We just have, we're genuine. I'm genuine. I'm genuine. <laughs> yeah, uh, use genuine. It, it, it brings a different yeah. feeling. Too. I'm genuine. Uh, so I just want to know uh, if there's anything uh, 
I can do for you, the Soldier Network can do for you to put anything out there. If you come out with anything, or if you have a point person. I, I would love for people to reassociate the way that they see everything. And the only reason I say this is because, um, you know, like people ask me, you know, mm, you? certain things, you know, so, so like with you, with me, what do I, what do I have? I don't really care. Go to my website. I just got you. Stuff. I just got what you're saying. <laughs> it's that you do it. No, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely the mindset, right. You know, if, you know, one, realize you are going to have to do the inner work. Everybody's got to do the inner work. There's no getting away from that. It's just whether you're going to do it on your own or whether you're going to be forced and have nothing left. You know, these yeah. are the two choices. And so choose to do it on your own. And if those of us who like me, I have like all the courses and classes and stuff like that. So it's basically each person choosing to do this and then realize yeah. you're going to be exactly where we are at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so and, and it's all about respect and support and um you know it, it's shut up okay yeah that's um, that's another great one for today if you want something go get it <laughs> well and and the thing about it is is that the reason we do it the way we do it is we create the opportunity and so this is what i tell people yeah is that your universe will give you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. And if you don't take it, it'll take the opportunities away. Yeah. And then what's left is desperation. Yeah. And, and, and so take the opportunities that are available and because our priorities are very visible to each other and our universe and all that kind of stuff, because our universe is us. When you become the whole universe, you just observe yourself and everything else. Exactly. You're in observation mode 24 hours a day. But basically, um, nah, I'm good. Just put this out. We'll come oh, together gotcha. and do more things. No, we'll, yeah. Uh, got well, I loved website, it. People, there's a billion things there. We're always adding more stuff. It's awesome. Bring consciousness into your life with each other. Pay attention to the way you behave. Pay attention to all these things because they matter. Because they transmit across all the other dimensions. But, um, no, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Come, Thank you. Come join us at some of the events. I was going to say, I can't wait to uh, get to Hawaii and come, come by for a visit, but I'll make sure I spend about a day at the beach before I come in the door. <laughs> oh, you're so uh, funny. Now I'm talking about the people that work, work for me, with me. I'm like, uh, don't come up to the house until you've gotten yourself. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. But, wow. Um, wow. Hey, I can't. Can you can't not hit the beach here. Okay, let me see if I can show you these clouds. Hold on. We just, we've gone. Can you see how pretty they are? Electromagnetic. Yeah. They're just very soft. Yeah. Um, we had a beautiful is it like, day. Is it like that every day in your uh, universe? Um, well, it's always beautiful. Uh, the energy is always beautiful. Um, some days it's raining, and rain is great work time for me. So yeah. um, the one reason you surround yourself with nature is because it supports your vibration so that you can do more. Yeah. And so surrounding myself with nature gives me the capability to stay focused and accomplish. And, and it helps you maintain your light body. So when it was time for me to move here, my universe was you have to move. Yeah. Once I was able to achieve a certain level of light body, I had to move my body to a place that would support my light body. And so that I mm. could continue to expand and embody because where I was vibrationally wasn't going to support my next phase. Right. And, and so I had to come somewhere that vibrationally could support so I could be in service fully all the time and my body be supported which was here surrounded by nature, the vibration yeah. of the island. But when you hit this island, your tests start. And, oh, and really? So, oh, yeah. It's going through all these initiation process and clearing all these programs out. And so for a lot of people to get here, and it's quite intense. The energies are intense, but they're beautiful all at the same time. But even Gaia, when Gaia, when we shifted this year, everything changed. And yeah. so um, coming into the divine... Everything was, you know, Kauai used to hold the divine feminine. Well, when the earth moved into divine masculine, Kauai did too. Oh, wow. 
And so it's no longer float around and, and take what you can and get, get, get and be supported. Now you actually have to step up and do something. So this island's been clearing a lot of stuff. And, wow. and it's got to it's coming into a much higher vibration too but the the lemurian energies are, are really powerful in here which is beautiful and it's very pure and but when i hit this island i went through it too but it was magical and easy but i also had to break through anything within me that still had to be cleared too oh and yeah so you know it's going to be that way for everybody that's a part of the process but yeah. um yeah, it's a, we're, we're actually looking for trying to decide what to do, whether to stay here or get another place. We're looking for another place at this point um, because that's the way it looks like it's going to be. The next place is going to serve higher purposes more than we can actually do here. Okay. And, and, and so, you know, if that's the case, then that's the way we're going to roll, you know. So when your reality oh. starts to shift and change, you go with them, you know. That's exciting. That's it exciting. is exciting. Oh yeah, there's there's so much. Uh, we don't ever stop. So it's kind of beautiful, you know. It is. So. It is. It is beautiful. You're beautiful. This has Thank been beautiful. Guys. Thank you so. guys for all you guys are doing. It's really important. Keep it up. And even if you don't understand it, don't worry about it. I, I have a saying. It doesn't matter if you understand. All you have to do is care. Yeah, you're and right. If you and care, I love you yeah. won't care. <laughs> if you care you won't care that's right no, yeah. Yeah, yeah i so get that one let go of the need to know a lot of stuff just get on board get you know get ready get excited know it's going to be amazing and awesome and it's going to be what you expect it to be but we're clearing a lot of the old entitlement energy all the victim energy collectively yeah. we're watching like massive you know yeah. a lot of pointing the finger a lot of blame you know, and that's just people playing out their own projections and giving their yeah. power away. So all the narcissistic energy is, is going yeah, to continue. Yeah. But hold on, Todd. This is the key. The external narcissist is just saying and doing out loud what your inner narcissist believes. Ooh. That'll rock you. That's why I stopped because your ego is your inner narcissist. Yeah. A narcissist plays on emotions. So it's going to use your emotions, guilt, blame, shame, all these things to, to control yeah. you, if you will. And the moment you become aware of this, the external narcissist just represents everything that's not fully pure and love and courage and and power from within you and that's it but because of where we are with the old dimensions dissolving resolving collapsing whatever words you want to use then that's going to increase for everybody still playing in those realities the moment you clear your inner narcissist within yourself you won't yeah. succumb to that anymore yeah so I'm yeah. just saying that because you're going to see a lot more of it. Narcissist is can be aggressive or passive aggressive. And the passive aggressive yeah. is a little bit harder in the beginning to detect. But the beauty yeah. is yeah. manipulation cannot play itself out if you can't be manipulated. Right. So you quit allowing yourself to be manipulated. You recognize yeah. the energies yourself and, and you say, no, not anymore. And you about face and you focus your energy and create, create, create. Create, create, create. You will find once Todd, once we co everybody comes into pure source creator energies, you are constantly creating with every breath. Yeah. yeah. You are creating, create, and you have to accomplish. So, so if anybody comes into your reality that doesn't hold that energy, that it'll actually, you know, I would tell people, I have to stop doing 12,000 realities to, to be with this one person and do one reality at a time. I'd yeah. rather be by myself doing my 12,000 realities on a quantum yeah. level. It's so much easier. Yeah. And, and so everybody has to be um, energetically, you know, to a place where everybody gets this and your focus is on what you're consciously and intentionally creating individually and together. Because there's yeah. no dependency. Yeah. 
There, there's no give your power away. There's everybody standing full accountable for their self, their energy and bringing the beauty is you bring together your gifts. You bring together your abundance. You bring together the awesome stuff and you share that and it creates more. That's right. You don't roll, come roll, together roll, to roll. dump your stuff on people. That's the whole <laughs> way. And you roll your own boat. <laughs> Grow your own space pod. It's, that, it's actually good. quite beautiful. It's very productive. It's a lot of fun. You get to play a whole lot while you work. You play while you work. So, yeah. so you know, the people that, you know, we just want to play all day long. Well, you're going to play, but you're going to be broke. <laughs> you know? So for us, we work and we play. And so, so you can actually experience the beauty and the abundance. Cause, and I want to say this. The more you evolve yourself you're on a DNA level, the more light your body holds, the more you vibrate into realities that are more vibrant, they're more colorful, the weather's different. So for me, I don't experience what others experience in their reality and world. I have a very different, I have different weather over my house. When I leave my house, I'm like, oh, there's sunshine over there because I always have plasma over my house. Okay. And so... Plasma is different. You don't have the vibrant sun, sun, sunshine. So I have to wait until certain days and, and run out and get sunshine and then come back in. And because plasma is pure quantum energy. And, and so because I maintain a quantum state, then the, my, my, my universe, my weather is always plasma over my house. Mm -hmm. And you don't have the heat and you don't have the sunshine like you did. You have different, when you wake up in the morning, you have one sunshine and sunrises and then it flips over and then you have a different weather when, oh. once it flips over. So it's very different here. You're operating with different suns. Yeah. Everything, yeah. It, it's nothing like the old realities were. And, and the best way I can describe it is that every reality is vibrational. So for like people, when they come here, they can't stay in this vibration very long. All their stuff starts coming up or they have to go away or they go to sleep and, and, and stuff. The vibration here is so high. You have to be able to hold that vibration. It's going to trigger all your stuff. It's kind of the point. But most people can't stay here very long. And, and you know, so... Um, it's very interesting because the vibrations are so high and I keep them that way because it's the only way I can function. Yeah. <clears throat> you you will find you have to keep the vibration really high in order to function. Does that make sense, Todd? Yes, it does. I recently, uh, with some very good wisdom from the divine feminine, uh, <laughs> created a, created a portal where I'm at. <laughs> Oh, Everything's yeah. in order. I got my shirts are ironed and they're all hung equally. <laughs> it's not OCD. It's just I got my crystals. I got it's everything. Here. Yes, okay. it is. It's it really is. For the space. Yeah. It's a connection with the space because you can't yeah. do clutter. You can't do yeah. chaos with stuff. Yeah. The more yeah. stuff you have and the more chaotic it is, the more it interferes with your consciousness. Yeah. It has yeah. to be clean. So like after I go through a massive integration process, the first thing I do is clean and bring order to the house. And the house will scream, clean me, go get plants. Yeah. It will actually communicate with you and tell you. And I can feel the house when it starts to get dirty. And, and you get up and you clean out of respect. It's all vibrational. Yeah. And and so, you know, when I, when I, right before I go into accomplish work, 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 I will clean first. It's also getting your body back into a linear mode. Because when you're cleaning, your body's moving back into a linear mode. Yeah. So, so I will clean and then while I'm cleaning, my brain is working and then I can right. actually go do linear work. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Cause there is a difference. I'm yep, learning. I mean, I'm just <laughs> learning, but I, I walk around sometimes wondering what the hell am I doing? <laughs> you know? You're going to do that a lot. You're going to walk right, around foggy do groggy. This? You're yeah. going to walk around foggy groggy a lot. Um, there's a lot of foggy groggy because those are the veils. That's totonic light. And you're, you're walking in a lucid dream. Yeah. And so technically you're in a dream state in the waking state. That's what I, that's what, when I got here three weeks ago uh -huh. to this place I'm at now, the day I got here, I had that transmission. I uh -huh. thought, wait a minute, you're, you're just, it's just flipped. You're actually in a dream. Everything's cool. You got yep. nothing to worry about. 
It's yep. just, you're walking in dimension. You're just in a dimension that's a little bit different than the other ones. And, and yep. it was a it was a great feeling. It just came in and, and it stayed with me for a little while. Then yep. some then the other then the grogginess. Then I went into the laundromat or the laundry, the washeteria here, uh -huh. uh, which is a small room. I was there for about 20 minutes trying to figure out what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. I don't even know what to do. Yeah. I mean, it was funny. You, you yeah. will. You now the cool part is that in, in your other states of consciousness and the other dimensions, you're working in those. So sometimes when you can't function in these, you're working in the other ones. And our consciousness is spread across all dimensions. So like the other day, I couldn't do anything, but I was walking around. I was watching all the other dimensions and us working everything out. So I'm like, oh, OK, cool. I don't need to really do a whole lot. And I did what I could. I cleaned yeah. house. But yeah. I couldn't do any linear work. And I told Eve, I'm like, oh, the new reality is about to just show up mm. because we're doing them over in the other dimensions. Just take a break and just do linear stuff. And so what will happen is you will wake up once you've slept, you get yeah, to yeah. enter the next dimensional space. Uh. So when you wake up, you're not in the same reality you were when you went to sleep the day before. But humans think they are. I got gotcha. you. Very cool. It's very, very cool. cool. Isn't it? I don't you love multidimensionality? I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm, I'm, I'm totally digging it. I enjoyed it so much last time. Yep. I enjoyed it so much this time. Yep. Uh, now, I want to really, tell you this. Hmm. Every time you expand into this beautiful, magical space, for a while, you'll contract back down again, back into the, the space that isn't magical, because it's showing you everything that's not aligned. Okay. And your okay. job is to see what's not vibrationally aligned and get it aligned. Move out anything that isn't done that needs to be accomplished. Move through everything as fast as you can, because as soon as you do and go to sleep, you're going to jump into the next timeline. Literally. I literally. Mean, literally go to sleep. Yeah. When you literally go to sleep. Yes. And so there will be days, you know, I got to get this done. I got to get all the emails done. I got to do this because you're about to shift and jump. And so you will have a feeling and you'll know, but it's really important to understand that you're able to wake up in a completely different reality than the day before. And everything that you've waited for is coming because you cleared it all in your sleep. You've been yeah. interacting, you know, all these people, you know, the emails are like, you were with me last night in my sleep. Yes. I can yeah. see myself teaching masses of people. I can see all of the realities. Um, when you become fully conscious, you're also fully conscious in the sleep state too. So you don't ever sleep again. It's very different. You're always working. You're always doing stuff. You're always connecting. You're always reuniting. You're always clearing. It's a very different state than it was before. And, and so for a while, getting used to that going, oh, am I never going to get another night's rest? No, not like the old days. No. Yeah. Because you're yeah. basically always moving into the next vibrational, higher version of a dream literally and the foggy groggy is anchoring that light photonic light in your body and recoding your dna so that right. your body can transmit the new reality that plays for you to walk in the next day right does that on. make sense yeah so i don't have to feel bad about it <laughs> oh, no i'm just sharing all this because you know it can't be this easy if we get out of the way, it can be yeah. this easy. If everybody gets on board, it can be this easy as everybody's ready. It's yeah. just that, you know, in each one of us, that's the beauty of the ninth dimensional template. We're moving into the 12th dimensional template. And so the, the, it's going to be really interesting because this is collective templates now, which means it's available for everybody who's ready for that, but everybody who's ready for that has to do the inner work and bring their vibration up, get their body's vibration up and be very responsible for what they choose and transmit out in their words and what they invest. Notice the word investment. What you invest in becomes your physical reality for you to experience here. Time, energy, choose. money, all of those things. And so choose when wisely. you choose wisely, because um, that's why we are so we take great care in the things that we allow is because we understand how responsible we have to be. We understand that that we're the one that are going to suffer if we don't. We understand that it's our reality and we're we are the ones that are doing this with our body. 
And, and so being that conscious and present and aware within yourself means that the physical reality can now respond to you vibrationally based yeah. upon what you're transmitting out. Being conscious means that you are conscious of your transmission of every cell in your body. And on a human level, the human aspect is it conscious of their body's transmission because they don't know what's in their cells. Yeah. yeah. When I said you can hear your body talking to you. So this is how I describe it. Your brain, your ears translate in words. Those things that humans call thoughts. They are translating the frequencies located in your cells to your head so you can hear them. That's it. Wow. Okay. So when you hear a lower vibrational program, that's coming from somewhere in your body so that you can hear it. If you're not present and listening to inside, you have no clue. And if, if there's a lot of emotion, you get caught up in it. So you, you separate the emotion and the thought and you work with them separately. Okay. You break the belief system down. You break it down yourself and you recreate it according to a whole new belief system, one that's aligned with your highest everything. And so when you're listening inside of your body, Todd, you're hearing all the different vibrational frequencies and you get to discern and decide which ones you're going to believe. Yeah. The more yeah. in tune you are with your body, the more you can activate those encodements through the key codes that are available to each person. Everything I write is a key code. Everything I write and share, every class I teach, everything I do is light encoded. It activates those key codes. You don't have to understand it. It's multidimensional. It does it for you. You just have to do the conscious work, if you will. Does that make sense? Yeah. Not yeah. you, I'm talking to anybody. No, no, it's talking to me. <laughs> but for you, oh. every mm -hmm. word you hear carries a vibration. And it's something yeah. that's located in your cellular body. And if you don't like what you hear, tell your body to clear that program. Clear the program. Yeah. Now, this is the tricky part. When it shows up in your physical reality, if you're not conscious, you don't understand that your programming transmitted and called that forth. Yeah. If you don't like what's standing in front of you, then change the programming. Right. Okay. Yeah, I got that one. I know. Yeah. All right. Cool. And I don't have it. I mean, I'm getting it when I say get it. I, when I, if I say anything like that, there's an ing on the end. <laughs> I'm well, I'm surrendering. <laughs> Constantly. If you follow any of our work, anybody that you know, somebody said the other day, you say the same thing over and over. The reason being is because we say it in different ways. We say it over and yeah. over because you're you're basically breaking through the human programming. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. And, and and you have to flood your consciousness with higher consciousness to break through that programming to to pierce those veils. Now the yeah. beauty is these frequencies will do that for you. And anybody that wants to enhance the frequencies for the light body to activate, go get earplugs. You told me that last time and wear them pull away listen to the frequencies and tones you can become very interactive with you there's messages embedded in them yeah, yeah. and so when you start to listen to them and stop labeling stuff with the old yeah. way you know it's really important to stop defending stop offending yeah. Stop all the old stuff and kind of just let it all go and surrender. Like you said, yeah. surrender is the biggest part of this journey. We have to surrender everything yeah. and be ready to learn everything new. Yeah. All over again. That's true. Yeah, that's Decide true. And understand that you know absolutely nothing. Yeah. I have people tell me, you need, you need to do this, you need to do that. I'm like, I don't need to do nothing. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing unless... I'm, I get, I'm supposed to do it. And, and typically it's some kind of new, almost yeah. like a new, you know, neural pathway, a new form of oh, expression, a new a paradigm. Pathway. Everything yeah. it is. Yes, yeah. it is. And when I write, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that. What I'm writing is, is quantum cause cosmic consciousness. And, mm -hmm. and when I say you have to, I'm not telling people they have to do anything. I'm telling them if they want this, they do have to at some point. Yeah. And, yeah. and so our yeah. half are different. Or That's have it. to, or if you want the amazing new earth experiences, then you do have to. Yeah. yeah. At some point, 
but the ego gets caught up in the words. Well, I don't want to have to do this. And I don't, and that's, that's the child and the teenager and stuff. And so we quit worrying about all of those things. And, and the beauty is the new earth networking system that we all represent the infrastructures, the foundations of new earth. That's all of us. And that's what's uniting all the councils that are embodied here, the Syrian, the galactic councils, all of these things, all the star beings, these codes are calling forth all the star councils yeah. to step up now. Far it's, out. It, it's very cool. It is cool. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, we ha we actually did we actually did go four hours. I know this. we did because <laughs> I know you have another one, no, don't no. you? No, 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 not till later. No, I just didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to the last time what happened, we went four hours and it knocked us off. We couldn't get back on. Well, there's a four hour, there's a four hour limit. That's, what That's it, it. Okay. So we'll wrap it up. So I want to say thank you to you, Todd. I want to say thank you to everybody out there. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to everybody that's been doing this work for years, that that's fully on board. Even those who are just now starting to, to awaken, we've all been doing this for eons. Okay. So just be patient, focus your energy, pick your priorities because it is going to make a difference if you lose focus if you get distracted then you're the one it's your reality that it's going to affect and, and so just you know choose and dedicate yourself and keep going because the, the grid work for new earth is in our body the, the structures are in our body everything's in the body and so your whole body has to break the old program down and recode itself and build all new everything. And it occurs every moment, every, every day that you get up, whatever you do is creating a reality. Whatever you think is creating a reality, whatever you're transmitting is creating a reality. So it's, it means being very conscious, conscious creation and, 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 divine masculine comes from divine love. But it's also the doing energy, which is what the light body is. The light body is the get or done energy. That's what I used to call it, my get or done energy. And I would get up, get it done, collapse, pass back out, um, let my light body generate again. Eventually, after years, then your body will store light and you can go for months at a time on your own light. I don't have to go outside. I, I go out. You know, now I'm having to get out there more because my body is screaming but I just up my vitamin D like a ridiculous amount because my spine has been screaming mm. for, for, for sunshine and I haven't been able to get there. So I jacked up my vitamin D to a ridiculous amount that's unheard of, but because we carry so much light, we need that much. So it's like 10 yeah. times the normal human amount. Wow. And my body's fine. The moment I did that, my spine quit hurting because my, my, I could, my spine was telling me it needed sunshine. So I went to liquid vitamin D and then I got out in the sunshine yesterday. Your body will scream. It will tell you what it needs. I'm learning Nature. that. Yep. Listen to it. It'll make it. A I'm, I'm, listen, I'm surrendering. <laughs> I told you I'm surrendering. Good job. I'm uh, into okay. the creation. Huh? So here's the thing. Just say this. My ego is surrendering because you have, you have your higher self aspect that the moment your ego surrenders, your higher self takes over. My ego surrenders. I'm my ego surrendering. Yeah. My, my ego is surrendering. And then That's all you have to do is, is go deeper inside and connect and you get up and you move from that space. And sometimes yeah. you surrender and sometimes you lay around for hours or days. Sometimes you don't do anything but what your body says to do. Yeah, yeah. It'll I balance agree. out. But I will tell you, there's all along the way, people are like, well, well, how am I supposed to support myself? How am I supposed to do that? Integrate the light and it'll happen naturally for you. Integrate your yeah. light and it will happen easier for you. It's not going to look like what you thought it would. Yeah, so I guess that's, that's right. all I got to say. Thank that you, that is right. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. I really time. enjoyed it. I'll I be coming that way. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get to Hawaii and uh, you know, I'll, I'll make sure I, I go to the beach or a park for a while before I come over. <laughs> I just You're love funny. that part. So I know, I'm just, You're so funny. No. But you know what I'm talking about when I say that. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm so, playing with you. Cool. All right, Mr. Todd. Peace, love. Keep making a yeah. difference and shining that light and sharing. It's awesome. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Bye, guys. I love you. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye. We'll see you later. You too, sweetheart. Bye. 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 Thank you.